Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Shook After Dark for our very special Sunday live stream. I am back in full swing. We are ready to go. I think that we are going to keep a regular schedule this week, which is usually four uploads, one live stream. So I'm super excited for that. Um, I feel so much better today. We're not 100% still. I know I don't want people to get like tired of me complaining about how I feel, but I'm getting better, like much, much better. We have an eye reveal today. They're not 100%. I did get put on the Lumify, so I'm very, very cautious to not overdo to overdo the Lumify, though. So just one drop, um, one time a day, maybe not every day, because I'm really, really cautious. But um, here we are. I reveal. There's still, like, a little bit red in the edges, but... This is with Lumify, so without, it's still red. So, we're doing the damn thing. We are doing the dang thing. Alicia Hassinger, welcome to Shookers. Welcome! Yes! And, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I pulled out all the stops tonight. Brand new contacts. Um, these are blue light glasses. So let me grab something. I did want to clean these. I think I forgot to clean them. Looking great. Yes. Thank you so much. You're glad I'm better. Thank you. I feel so good today. I've been working out every day and just the feeling that I get, it's so worth it. The feeling that you get after. And I know it's so hard starting out with cardio and stuff, but trust me, just stick with it. Buy yourself an exercise bike on the Amazon. You don't need no Peloton. I don't have a Peloton. I have like a random bike that was like 150 maybe and it works perfectly fine along with your apple watch you can track your workout and it's just great i love it so much and i feel amazing afterwards although i have been like a little bit sore in the morning lately like <laughs> almost like i'm heavy and it's hard for me to like lift my body you know what I mean? Big? Are you calling me big? Heavy? Are you calling me heavy? <laughs> Is that the new one? Did you guys see? So ALR, we're going to start the live stream by reacting to ALR. She posted a brand new video, which I was surprised. I was not expecting. And she's going to be talking about Alexis and actually addressing something for once instead of letting people run wild and speculate. Now, I haven't seen it yet, because this is raw and real, right? <laughs> Gotta keep it raw and real. But, I don't know. I have I have uh, high hopes. High, high hopes. Hopefully she doesn't let me down. Don't let me down, girl. Don't let me down, 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 down. What happened to Daya? Shout out to Daya from Pittsburgh. She's from Pittsburgh. <laughs> Not me, but she kind of like went away. I liked her a lot. She did um, Where Do the Good Boys Go To? Hide Away, Hide Away. And then she did Don't Let Me Down. Shout out to Daya. Come back, girly Q. Welcome, Angelina. Hello, girly pops. Yes, you are on time and ready to go. Love that random shout out. I know she was a she was a girl. She was a pop girly. One of my favorite pop girlies. Have to take my shoes off. Mm -mm -mm. 
I've got nice clean socks. I took a shower and everything for you guys. Put in my new contacts. Brand new contacts. So I feel good. Hopefully, um, hopefully we can keep them in the whole time. I don't know. Uh, the blue light glasses, I think, will help a lot. I heard a lot of people recommending I should get blue light glasses. I had some already, but they were just hidden somewhere. I wasn't sure where they were, to be honest, but I found them. No worries, no worries, and they're cute. They don't look unlike the glasses I already have, but they're not like prescription, so I need contacts. So we've literally got fake glasses and contacts. <laughs> Double wham, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, in and out. That's how we like it. Eyes be big. Yeah, my eyes are big. I've always been told that since I was a little kid. Those big brown eyes, my family says. So <laughs> always been told that. I did want to share with you guys this protein bar. Oh my God. Now this is non-sponsored. Oh my gosh. Non-sponsored. I just am in love with this. It's called Think Delight. And it is peanut butter pie. This is the best protein bar taste-wise that I have ever had. It's keto. It is 10 grams of protein, which it could be more, right? But that is so good. Non-sponsored. I'm just so in love with those. <laughs> so in love. Did Glitter and Lasers recommend it? I don't know. Glitter and Lasers era. Honestly, if she recommended it, it would make me not want it. I also have a clementine slash mini orange. I don't know. It's a halo. Is that what they're called? Halos. Cuties, halos, same thing. Did you guys know that the halos have like a mom and a dad and a, and like siblings in every bag? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> There's stickers that say, Orange mom, orange dad, orange sister, orange brother. <laughs> Anna's new attempt at comedy. What is her new attempt at comedy? No, I don't think I have seen it. Let's test our audio with a welcome. Welcome. Yes. There we go. Everything is working According to plan. Um, do you guys know the song Lying is the most fun a girl can have? <laughs> Where's Panic at the Disco? What happened to them? They're still around for sure. Well, Brendan. Brendan Yuri. Amber just uploaded. I know, like right on time. I wasn't expecting anything from her. I thought that it would just be, I thought we would, I was going to like maybe look at some glitter and lasers tonight. I mean, we can still, but I was going to kind of veer in that direction, but we got a new upload just for me. Yes. Thank you. Animal lover. Aren't we all animal lovers? Except for Chantal, she is an abuser. Yeah. That's so horrible. I never want to talk about that situation. I never want her to talk about that situation with BBJ. Because it's like there's nothing that you can say to justify what was done. Nothing. It's done. It's over with. And no matter how many community tabs you make... That's it. Like, we're not going to change our opinion on what you did being wrong. Period. Can we get a period in the chat for that? 
Thank you. And can we get thumbs up on the stream? Let's get some thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. No work tomorrow. Good for you. Good for you. You look happy and healthy. Not me. I have all these medical issues. <laughs> That's great. She should have filmed the kidnapping of BBJ. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right. I mean, that would have been some serious views. I mean, she already got a lot of views, but like that would have been next level views. There was actually articles written about the BBJ incident. It was that big. Now it was like some random blogs slash like maybe a hole in the wall newspaper that nobody ever heard of. E-newspaper, I should say. But there were still articles. <laughs> Nothing like mainstream or anything. Um, People magazine should have picked it up. Or no, In Touch. I used to read In Touch because that one was like a little bit trashier. Definitely trashier than People. People was like the classy tabloid. She did film it, kind of, but not like really. It's okay. That was like a long time ago. <laughs> we'll get over it. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We'll deal. We'll deal. Thanks, Alex, for keeping me company while I catch up on some homework. Yes, welcome in, LaCale. And I hope your homework goes well. Um, What kind of homework? Oh, homework. I can't imagine, like, homework. It's been a long time since I had homework. It's been over 10 years since I've had homework. Wow. That's crazy. Is college, like, does that count as homework in college? I guess kind of. I just feel like you don't really say homework because that's so high school. And you think you're, like, so big and bad now that you're in college. But really, you're still just a kid. Well, not in the eyes of the law, but you're still a kid, really, until you're like 21 at least. My cousin actually turned 21 on Saturday, or no, today, actually. Today's her birthday, but Saturday we were celebrating because she had to get on a, get on a flight today. Back to an undisclosed location. <laughs> so we celebrated her birthday. It was fun. I got her a card with some moolah and um, a chocolate bar. She likes chocolate. She doesn't like any kind of candy. Like I love like Sour Patch Kids. She doesn't like that kind of stuff. She only likes chocolate. So... All right, should we get into a new Amber Lynn video with T T T T T T T T T? Is she a spy? No. <laughs> no. I just respect people's privacy, unlike Amber Lynn, who claims she respects people's privacy. February Pisces. That's me, February Pisces. Um, I'm excited for like leap year day. I don't know why. <laughs> Does anyone, is anyone going to buy Final Fantasy 7 Remake 2 or Rebirth? It comes out on leap year day. So I'm super excited for that. But also it's like an interesting day because we only get it once every four years. All right. All right. Isn't that a glorious beginning to the video? Girl, girl, girl. She's giving like her hair's all slicked back like Jennifer Lawrence used to do it. 
that was a style for the celebrities like a few years back. I don't think they're doing it as much anymore. Some do, but just completely slicked back for women. I mean, men do that all the time. Like that's like a normal, everybody, everybody has that hairstyle, right? Slicked back like that. She should get some gel and just slick it back with the gel. I would like to see. I would like to see how that looks. <laughs> Michaela Mountain, thank you for the super. So glad your eyes are feeling better. I have the C word right now. Making chicken noodle soup while I watch this. Love you, Alex. Thank you, Michaela. Welcome in. Welcome in. I hope you recover soon. Get well soon, sweetheart. That's no fun at all. No fun at all. And enjoy your dinner. All right. All right. She's giving Eileen Warnos. <laughs> right? Right? Raw, raw. Should we put it at 1.25? Probably. I feel like 1.25 is normal speed for Amber. Like it just sounds normal when you put it at 1.25. Maybe that's because I've always watched her at 1.25. Probably. Okay. Yeah, I do censor the C word because otherwise they'll put like a little disclaimer on your video. Like, I don't need all that. Come here to learn more. Nah, I don't feel like dealing with all that. Okay. Hello, hello. We are starting my vlog with gray hair. So I dyed my hair. And hey, girl. Welcome to the club. Why would she have to... Why would she have gray hair if she dyed it? Messy Mikey, thank you for the super. For a dry girl, she sure is greasy a lot. <laughs> girl, the shade of it all. Thank you, Messy. I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Like, I wanted, like, a little gray moment. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I don't know how. Yeah, girl, embrace the gray moment. That's what we're doing over here. I just want to save money on hair dye. <laughs> That's what it is. I feel totally joking. Um, I added too much dry shampoo. Wasn't paying attention. So I'm about to brush out, finish getting ready for the day, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Yeah, ooh, Walmart footage. I love a good Walmart footage moment with Amberlynn. Is she in the scooter or not? You decide. I feel like she has been caught filming um, her standing up with a cart for YouTube. And then having a scooter when the camera turns off. Hi. Okay, so hi, Amberlynn in the future. So what just happened here is I had to click off because the guy that I said hi to, he complimented my hair, asked me what I was doing tonight, looked at the food in my really? cart, which at that point I was about to check out. But I had like... What? Amber's getting hit on by men? Everything in the cart. And he was like, invite me over and I'll cook for you. I was like... <gasps> oh. oh. my God. Obviously I said no, but... Amber's got all these men, like, pining after her these days. Is that an Oklahoma thing? That didn't seem to happen in Kentucky. Can we watch that footage again? I think we need to watch that footage again. Finish getting ready for the day, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. Let's slow it down to 0.5. Watch this footage again. See if there's any Easter eggs. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay, so. Okay, what aisle is she in? And I'll see you guys in a second. I need to know what aisle she's in. Ice cream. <gasps> Ice cream girl exposed. <laughs> Desserts, ice cream, frozen breakfast. Girl. What are you doing in the ice cream aisle? 
I'm dead. I'm dead. Can we get some ice cream emoji? Okay, so... Oh, sorry. Hi. There's, like, nobody there. Okay. <laughs> nobody there. That's funny. Ice cream aisle. I'm glad we, like, analyzed the footage to get that little Easter egg. So, hi, Amberlynn in the future. So, what just happened here is I had to click off because the guy that I said hi to, he complimented my hair, asked me what I was doing tonight, looked at the food in my cart, which, at that point, I was about to check out. I had, like, everything in the cart, and he was like, invite me over and I'll cook for you. I was like... Yeah, why wouldn't she record it? Yeah. Leona says, why wouldn't she record someone making her uncomfortable? Right? It would be great footage for YouTube and also for your own safety. Oh my God. Obviously, I said no, but just had to clarify that. Maybe she does have it. She just doesn't want to put it in. That's what happened there. That was weird. I guess we'll see. Oh, wait. Maybe we're getting it. Okay, so I'm currently at the grocery store. No. I'm about to go home and then we can do like a little grocery haul moment. This is a sneak peek. Let's hope I even remember to do it once I get home. I hope so. Okay, you guys. Wait, I want to analyze her car. Oh, wait, now she's doing a grocery haul. So I just got back from the good old grocery store. So we're going to do the haul now. I kind of miss a good old grocery haul from ALR, right? Oh, so actually by this... It was a feeder. ...time that you guys see this. You guys already know that your girl lost a lot of weight this last week. In my time, Could be. it's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, which is my Wednesday weigh-in. And I have been actually on track since... Yeah, where was Mama Lynn? Because we know that she has no other way to get to Walmart than getting in the back of Mama Lynn's Jeep. It's not a Jeep, but... <laughs> so where's Mama Lynn? My last Wednesday video, I don't know what ignited inside of me, but... I guess they're just doing their own thing. I've been doing it. I had to know, so I stepped on the scale a day early today, and I was shocked. So I'm excited to see, like, tomorrow, what, like, the final... Wednesday weigh-in is so oh my gosh every every weigh-in is just absolutely shocking oh so, yeah now that I'm on I'm track shocked. this grocery haul is absolutely shocked. so it's funny that I say that as I'm like hey guys um I got some diet Dr. pepper she drinks diet soda like all day that's all she drinks is diet soda now I will have a diet soda every now and again my favorite is diet root beer I have it right here <laughs> I'll have like one a day lately, but usually I don't drink diet soda at all. I actually quit soda from like 2021 to 2023. Why are we back to not uploading in order? Right. It's hard to know like what is even going on because the timeline is so out of whack lately. I'm still going to drink my Diet Dr. Pepper. I also got some water and some Gatorade Zero. They didn't have my favorite kind, so I Chemical just had to stick to the orange. So I'm just going to put all my bags up here real quick. So as I haul, I'm just going to put away. So I got three ground turkeys. So that's all that's in this bag. I got a massive thing of broccoli and a bag of Love broccoli rice because I recently bought a rice cooker. I thought that was... I thought those were whopper whoppers. Because when me and my ex broke up, we split some things and I gave Chocolate her rice whoppers. cooker. So I didn't think I was ever gonna use it, but your girl wants to use it, so I bought a new one. I got three things. The rice cooker. She always does that where she gives stuff away and then has to buy it again at the Goodwill. What's going I feel like she's having like some sort of mental situation that causes her to want to clean everything out, but then she realizes, wait, a few months later, I Wish I still had that. So she just goes and buys it again. It is a waste of money. Of these hottie bites. It's just, oh, snap pickles. I got some sour cream and. Oh, those pickles are bomb. The ranch packet restaurant style because your girl's about to mix these two together. She's just too rich. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Also got two packets of just low sodium taco <laughs> seasoning. Got some frozen mango chunks and frozen pineapple chunks for smoothies I low sodium taco seasoning a ton of hard boiled eggs that are already cooked i got my favorite girl meat. why why do we need to get pre-boiled hard boiled eggs like is she really that lazy <laughs> that is not hard at all what's the price differentiator 
I mean, if they're the same price, it is what it is, but. Sweet peppers and some carrots. I don't know. I got some rotisserie chicken that hard lunch to believe. Oscar Mayer, my fave. Two. Yeah, we need to get an egg. Eggs. 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 Loves it. Cans of just some corn. I like a little sweet snack. I love chocolate. Come for me. I know it's gonna happen. Grocery hauls, people come for me. But I'm the come for me. Remember? I do want you guys to know that I'm the queen of like moderation. I lost 89 pounds before. That's only funny when we do it. I still want some chocolate. So these are just 100 <laughs> calorie chocolate vanilla um like puddings, and they're so. Our girl's trying to get on get in on the joke, but you can't get in on the joke when you're the joke. I mean, hate to put it so harshly, but good i got a lemon pepper rotisserie chicken some premier protein which this is my favorite flavor which is the chocolate peanut butter last but not least we got some oh they're quite a bit more expensive and they taste gross because they have preservatives ew then why not just boil your own eggs <laughs> what the heck yeah wouldn't you want like a fresh hard-boiled egg down tea which is the best paper towel ever fight me grocery haul is now complete let's get to the alexis tea por favor hello hello so it is actually valentine's day oh my gosh what happened it looks like she was really getting down on the val valentine's day y'all see it do y'all see it night like it's fixing to be midnight right now and i just want to say happy valentine's day we did go to bingo and i did win by the way people ask all the time like do you win at bingo i do it's not every time tonight i won she's 50. always winning at the bingo the, i think it was like last week or the week before i won like a hundred or something whenever i do get a bingo though like i'll really quickly be like mom i got a bingo and then like she'll yell bingo for me because like i'm so shy i don't know oh what it is like, in certain situations i'm literally so shy she's too scared to yell out bingo and she has to get her mommy to <laughs> something about that is actually kind of cute and endearing but it's alr and i feel like paralyzed i cannot say bingo even if it was like for a thousand dollars i like wouldn't be able to say it i'm pretty shy but i'm not that shy like i would be able to yell bingo bingo so my mom has to say it for me it's just a random fact and also i feel like i've been like working on my anxiety lately like i feel a little bit better with it something else that i want to talk about is i have a friend and she said it's totally fine if i talk okay. about this and like say her name here we go so alexis was going off on the facebook who even uses Facebook anymore? Let's be real here. I only see like my boomer relatives on there posting updates and stuff. Name and stuff. Her name is Alexis. I have been friends with her since summertime, and her and I have gotten okay. really close, like best friend territory. Like always talking on the phone. We're always there. Where did she meet her? And um, does she? She's got it like that. She bought that four hundred dollar Lego or no? For each other. And a lot of people, like, assume that her and I were dating or are dating. No, that never happened. Her and I are literally just strictly friends. So oh, she's not the girly cue. Like, a lot of rumors going around that we're dating. I don't even know how y'all found her. I We don't know, but... I don't I even know how they found her. She was inserting herself on the Facebook into the drama, almost as if she wanted to be found. Maybe that was part of it i personally wanted to clear this up just because i don't want you guys thinking that she's my valentine because it's not oh what if she's clout chasing her and i know a lot of you are gonna be like oh my god this is just like amberlynn lying so we don't find out like who it is like no yeah. alexis like she did with wifey is literally just like my best friend she has been there for me through I don't know. a lot recently and i have been there for her through a lot and we just like bonded and became really good friends and we just vibe it really could go either way to be honest, I, yeah, I'm thinking maybe Alexis is just not the girl, but who is it? Does she even exist? Is the girl just fake? And um, Amber bought the Lego for herself. I mean, that's what most people are thinking. ATM. In that way, I would love to meet her one day in person. Sorry, I didn't get that. The internet is unreachable. My Alexa goes off every time I say Alexis. I feel like like when me and her are on the phone and it literally just happened right now. Speaking of my Valentine, um Do any of you guys still use Facebook? I mean, I'll pop on very seldomly, but I use Messenger. I use Messenger. 
a lot of people are like, oh my god, is she like moving too quick? No, this is actually just something new that I decided to tell you guys about. I have been talking to her for almost six months now, so. You miss wifey? Really? Why? What is there to miss? She wasn't on camera. Wait. No. Speaking of my Valentine, um, a lot of people are like, oh my god, is she like moving too quick? No, this is actually just something new that I decided to tell you guys about. I have been talking to her for almost six months now. So we've been in each other's lives for half of a year. This okay, so there's the tea on the Valentine. Who could it even be? This is the new caretaker. And they've been talking since September, supposedly. But uh, this is tea. But she still hasn't moved in. Which is very different for Amberlynn. Very different. Like, very much behind the scenes. And I just wanted to, like, share it with you guys. Because I was, like, so happy. And she said... When is the caretaker know, moving it's just, in? like, really good vibes. I'm just really... We need, we need the new side character. The new girly pop. Mama Lynn isn't even on camera. And this girl better be on camera. <laughs> Look at me, like, dictating her life. No... <sighs> She has to be on camera, right? Wifey was so boring. She never came on camera. We don't even know anything about her. I'm really happy. And I think that's like what's important. And I just kind of wanted to share that side of my life with you guys because it's something that I haven't been sharing with you guys. But yeah, definitely not moving fast. This is actually the slowest I have ever in my life moved with someone that I'm interested in. So props. Yeah, girl, it is the slowest you've ever moved. Me for doing that. Like this girl, pop taking it slow. What does that mean? What do they talk about? Have they even met IRL? I have so many questions. Amber likes to give us just like a little drop of tea. Like that's all you get. That's all y'all get is a little drop. That's how she strings the people along. Mm -mm -mm. Important. Hello, hello, beautiful people. So today we have a what I ate today video. So right, such a diva. <laughs> she has to string us along. Come on, girl. Give us the tea. Give us the tea. The tea on the new woman. When is she coming? She's boring lately. This is the most interesting that she has been in like three weeks. I would say this video is the most interesting video in the past three weeks that we've gotten from her. And it's just like, because we've been so thirsty. Well, I've been so thirsty <laughs> that this little drop of tea was enough. Oh, if you guys have not seen my what I ate today video, definitely go watch that. It was the last video that I uploaded for you guys. No, that video wasn't that good. So this is the filming that I did for this day. So now let's move Ugh. on to the next day. That turkey. Ugh. Love you. When was that even filmed? After this one? Hello. That video was filmed like after this one. Hello. Okay. So there's a few things I'm trying to decide on. Let me put on my lipstick before I decide <sighs> on that though. You enjoyed the pantry reorganization? Really? <laughs> In Lexington? Okay, lipstick is on. So now I'm trying to decide. Do I want to wear... Yeah, girl, give us that old footage. Hoop earrings. Or these cute little smiley face earrings. On top of trying to decide that, do I want to wear my hair... With a side part, Smug if I do, do bites. I want to do it like this? <laughs> do I want to have it tucked? Oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm feeling the side part for Amber Lynn. That's honestly the tea of the video. That side part. What do you guys think, yay or nay? I think it's time for a poll. Poll the audience. Dum, dum, dum. Dim the lights. It's time. It's time to poll the audience. Are we feeling the middle part? Yay or nay? Can I get an amen? All right. Okay. I haven't put the back on the earring yet because I haven't decided if I want to wear them yet. So do I want to wear my hair tucked like this or do I want to wear it? Girl. Or do I want to wear it? How what is wear going it? Like on? This. Oh, my mom's calling. Hold on. All right, I'm back. And I also got um, some back to the earrings because I... Mama Lynn interrupting the video. 
Mm -mm -mm. I actually think I am gonna wear these. Actually, I'm not because they just broke. Today is not my day. Okay, so it looks like we're sticking with the hoops. Wear hair like this or like this. So two different options, two different vibes. I don't know what to choose. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna wear my hair like this. Stick That's like the usual. I think, yeah, the usual. I'm not really feeling the middle part. It just doesn't work for her. Or maybe it's just because that's all we have ever seen, you know, is like that. Well, lately, right? Before, like, 2019, it was just the bun all the time. K-Ban, thank you for the super sticker and welcome in hearts to you. Um, Earring said bye, flop. You like the middle part? Well, middle part is more, like, in right now, right? The hoops. Hopefully I start having better luck today. Like, I cannot believe these earrings just broke. Like, really? This would have been so freaking cute. Okay. Because there's, like, this whole thing. Gen Z versus millennials. Millennials are with the side part. Gen Z are doing the middle part. I'm not feeling the middle part. Well, I don't have a part anyway. <laughs> So last minute, I did decide to do the parts in the middle because it just looks better. Oh, I look yeah? more youthful. Really? Okay, you guys, so I'm getting my nails done. Here's a before. Yeah, it's giving Gen Z girly pop. Four. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I got like a lime green. I haven't put my nails back on yet. I mean, I haven't put my rings back on yet. So I got to do that. But oh my God, I'm obsessed. It's because I wear a lot of black. So I figured that would look really good. And it does. I love yeah, girl, Oh, fingers. and I don't know if I also pointed out the fact that yeah. I got it in matte. Look you guys like the green? What is with the green right now? Oh, right. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I guess it could be for that, but that's not for like a few more weeks. Right? When is St. Patrick's Day? Do they even have it? Okay, they do. March 17th. Oh, of course. It's always on the same day every year. The 17th. That's pretty far away from now, though. One, two. One, two, three three, four weeks. Yeah, that's a whole month. Mm -mm. Not feeling that. Um, Lillian P, thank you for the super sticker with the kitty. Or is that a doggo? No, it's a mouse. I can't even really tell. It's a doggo. <laughs> thank you, Lillian. <laughs> It wasn't because of my eyes. It was just because that drawing is, like, strange. All right, let's end the poll. Are we feeling the middle part? 35% are feeling it. And 65% are not feeling this middle part, girl. Mm -mm -mm. Nay to the middle part. She's a summer, guys. Is she? What does that mean? Looks like Nickelodeon slime. Yeah, right? Kids Choice Awards, anyone? They should invite Amber. It's good, donut. Y'all, I'm about to have me some pudding. So today's actually been such a good day. That's such a good point. It's to honor Karina Kaboom. <laughs> went and got my nails done. And then the I Kermit. went to my grandma. And then we went out Loves for some that. Mexican food, which was really fun. And then me and my mom hung out at my grandma's house for a little bit. This pudding's so good. And then we ended up going to bingo again. Honestly, I just enjoy bingo. bingo. Like, I just think it's so fun just to, like, sit there, kind of relax, and just dob away. But I'm sorry that I did not vlog much. I just wanted to let you guys know that I had an amazing day. I'm gonna go finish this pudding. Wow. Our girl loves a little mundane activity. I guess it can get your, your hat off of things that are bothering you your mind off of things that are bothering you oh well, i'm watching your mama someone messaged me and said like she's watching your mama gatorade zero is making people sick because of like supposedly like there's like j -j 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 drama gatorade's making people sick drama mold on the bottom of the bottle i don't know how accurate it is Ew, but what? you guys know me i have been loving gatorade zero so i'm about to look at my bottle and see no way mold like what so i'm gonna put you guys in the fridge i'm actually really concerned about this because i drink the same gatorade that she does so that's actually really scary okay so are we eating drinking mold um we'll see 
Right, okay. No. Let me show you guys. So I guess it's that white stuff. Do you guys see it? Oh. It like moves when I move this. I don't know how accurate this is, so I'm gonna Google it. Okay, I Googled it, and the majority really of the things that I saw said that it is mold. I don't know though. Google also told me one time that oh, I was really Gatorade is making people sick. Google told her she's pregnant. Pregnant? Very much was not. But I'm very, very weird about food and things. Girl, Google can tell you that you have like any sickness, really. I mean. The truth is, a lot of sicknesses or, you know, pregnancy, it shares the same symptoms as other things, right? Very much was not. But I'm very, very weird about food and things. I get creeped out really easily. So now I'm scared of Gatorade Zero. Like chicken, meat. She's afraid of meat, and now she's afraid of Gatorade Zero. Is it just the zero? <laughs> no. I don't know what to do about this. If there's any, like, Gatorade signs. I actually ran out of Gatorade, so now I'm not going to buy anymore for now. I'll see. It's legit. Gatorade said it is safe to drink, but it is mold. What? What? Scientists out there, please let me know what to do. Like, is that mold? Will I be okay? Am I going to get sick? Like, what? Ew. Stanley's were having the mold issue. Where's the mold in the Stanley? You just have to clean it. Oh, so it is the next day. Obviously, I actually just got home. You have to clean I was with my mom it. for a little bit. And I think I actually want to go for a mile walk again. I'm definitely People are dirty and nasty and don't clean their Stanley. They just fill it with water. They don't care. You have to especially clean that straw that's like exposed to the elements at all times. No. No, 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 no. Clean your Stanley or any cup for that matter even if it is just water. <laughs> Stephanie Priolo, Priolo, thank you for the super from Canada. Thank you. Hey, Alex, watching here in China on my work break. Great video. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, are you like from Canada and you're in China? Thank you so much, Stephanie. Enjoy your time over there. That's exciting for work. Wow, we. I'm going to take the same route. Um, I told myself that next time I do this, I wasn't going to take Twinkie because she did slow me down a little bit, but I do want her to enjoy it as well Twinkie because outside it's like in the fifties, which is feeling really good to me. So I have a hard time to, I have a hard time believing that Twinkie is the one that slowed her down and not the other way around. I could see Twinkie pulling on the leash and Amber not being able to keep up. Oh, so let's go for a walk. I'm excited. I'm going to, but that's projecting because my dog does that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna map my walk and see how long it takes me this time. Twinkie I'm projecting. is currently pooping, so it's gonna slow me down a little bit. But y'all, it feels so to good. Go You've reached that damn hill that I hate. Okay, so made it halfway. Twinkie is sniffing on something. Looks like we made it a couple minutes quicker than last time, which is a good thing. I'm just thinking of how much better my lungs would be if I didn't vape. I mean, I'm not just strictly blaming vaping, but it definitely doesn't help. And I don't vape nicotine. I know a lot of people. Oh gosh, as we're vaping. People got confused with that, but no. I've only actually smoked nicotine like once in my life. It was when I was in high school. Not my thing. I'm really, really seriously contemplating quitting vaping. I just, I think I have to take it slow. Like maybe we'll only do like one an hour or whatever. One every 30 minutes. Wait. I know while I'm vaping, Perfect. I can't. I'm really seriously contemplating quitting. But yeah, like tapering down. <laughs> Just drink buzz balls. I had my little buzz ball moment. No more. No more buzz balls. Oh my goodness. Oop. I see some chemtrails. What about you? They mess you up. Guys, two of them actually. I made it back and I think I'm in one What's piece. What's with the chemtrails, girl? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Tell us your theory, girl. Tell us your theory because we know you're into some weird stuff like flat earth. Chantal's kicked pork apron. Thank you for the super sticker with the sunglasses. We don't have our sunnies on the table, but thank you. You quit vape two and a half months ago. 
and you miss it dearly. Oh no. Do you feel better? Or do you just feel the same? They're contrails. What's a contrail? Or it's just an airplane. <laughs> I don't know what she's really talking about. I don't know exactly what that looks like. Twinkies on one piece. We made it back in one piece. Last time it took me 52 minutes and today, dun, 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 literally took 45. So as you can see here, we have trimmed down seven minutes. I'm very proud of Twinkie and I. I will say this time it felt shorter. I think it's because like I know the distance now. Like I knew exactly how far I was going to be going, like which building I was going to reach and then have to turn down. Was that only one mile? She like flashes. Like, it I know for, the like, distance now. Like, I'm very proud of Twinkie and I. Yeah, one mile. I, I will say that one mile, forty five minutes. Girl, I mean, I guess she's she is five hundred pounds, you know. So for her to be walking a mile at all. This time it felt shorter. I think it's because like I know the distance now. Like I knew exactly how far I was gonna be going, like which building I was gonna reach and then have to turn down. I wouldn't say I was as bored this time. I did enjoy it. Walking isn't my favorite thing in the world. I had good Walking. music on. I had Twinkie. There were people out. A lot of like, hey, how you doing? Have good days. And I like that. I prefer walking on like busy streets versus Oh, it seems like people are more or are friendlier in Lex or Oklahoma City rather than Lexington. She really hated Lexington, Kentucky, and just Kentucky in general. I want to check out Lexington, like I said on last week's or Fridays, Thursdays, Fridays live stream. I want to check out Lexington. It's like a random pathway with nothing or no one around. I just Someone on Twitter said it's cool and there's a lot to check out. And you can also go to Lowellville. It's like an hour and a half, maybe, from Lexi. Lexi. For I'll people, take you guys I, along. For, I don't know. Like, is that weird? I don't know. So now I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to watch some YouTube. I feel exhausted. Twinkies over there. Yeah, she just wanted to upset Becky. I'm drinking tons of water as well. You would hate Kentucky, too. <laughs> but Lexington seems like a cute city. It's like kind of hipstery vibes or Lawville. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. Today is Sunday and I did weigh myself earlier than I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to weigh. I'm not going to law. Okay. So this is today, today, today. Wow. She actually got out a decent length vlog today above average here. 15 minutes. Rather than, I mean, 13 is okay, but 8 is, like, pushing it. I felt like Wednesday, but I felt like I was doing so good, and I was just excited. And I stepped on the scale and was not happy to see it. Five so for my last up. Wednesday weigh-in, which was just, I don't know, like, four days ago, I gained, like, three pounds, and I don't know how. And normally <laughs> when something like that happens, like, I get so discouraged, and I'm just like, what the heck? Normally when I get discouraged, things happen up here and I end up just like going off the deep end. Not What's going on, girl? What exactly did you eat? Giving a shit anymore. But honestly, I said, fuck that. I'm going to prove to myself that I'm better than this and that I can do this. And that's like a really big reason why I walked the mile. Plus I've had... She was, eat she was at Walmart. What'd she get? Did she get the usual? The chocolate bars and the ramen? We don't know. Maybe. Maybe. A lot of my mind today and i'm getting emotional just really really like i don't know like i just ugh, i hate what i've yeah i gain weight and i have no idea how <laughs> even i know like i had a sub and it was definitely the sodium that made me go up like two pounds overnight from that sub because i don't think i was too high over calories this was like a couple weeks ago but I know exactly what's going on when I'm up a couple of pounds the next day. Done to myself and what I've done to my body. Let's just and it's not like, lie. Now that I'm like on track and doing really good. And my body like reacted really well last week by losing 14 pounds. But now it's like, no, let's not do this this week. Even though I'm literally. None of this seems sincere. No, it don't. Really 
on track. It just, it's frustrating and it's hard. And I really want to do my Wednesday weigh in and be in the 400s. Just tell us what you ate that caused the fluctuation. I weighed in today at 504 and today's Sunday and Wednesday. Or did you not go to the bathroom? Like what happened? You know. Coming up, it's like, can I lose that weight in the next few days? I don't know. Every Wednesday, I just, I really want to have a loss because that means I'm making progress. But what happens when I'm making progress mm -mm -mm. with my eating and I'm making progress mentally and all of that, but it's not showing up on the scale? I need to figure out how to handle. I don't think that that's possible at her size. Yeah, day to day, but like a whole week. I don't think that's possible at her size if she really is on track. And she's eating less than her TDEE. She will lose weight. There will be fluctuations day to day. Because that happens to everybody. Sodium, water, what have you. But for her to not lose any weight on track for a week. That's impossible. Girl, we're tired of the excuses. Or non-excuses. I mean, she just doesn't recall... I don't recall what the issue is. Uh, without backtracking or going off the deep end, I need to figure that out. Which I think I figured it out today. I'm very proud of that. Like I went for a walk. Like I chose something productive to do and something good for my body. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm actually going to end this vlog though. I hope that you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. And that is it, folks, from ALR with the green nails. It's kind of giving um, Monsters, Inc., Mike, Mike, Mike and Sully. We can live like Mike and Sully if we want. <laughs> I know that's not right. <laughs> Girl, that is so not right. She's in blank mode and gaining. You think so? <clears throat> She's in starvation mode and gaining. Is that when, like, you haven't... Okay, because she only has the two meals a day, but is she actually doing that? It was kind of confusing in this video because she did not really say that she was doing the two meals a day. She just showed us what she was eating. Whatever. I guess I'm going to have to assume she's still doing two meals a day because that's what she said she was doing. But she likes those little, like snacky meals where like it's a hard boiled egg and like a little bit of carrots and like maybe a snack pack which I don't think is bad like those seem like pretty good choices especially like carrots and eggs and whatever I love a good hard boiled egg but usually I just take an egg and I boil it I don't buy like already boiled eggs unless they're deviled eggs but that's different. <laughs> Obviously, that takes way longer than boiling an egg. So glad you are back to 100%. You look great. Not 100%, Annie, but we're getting there. Like, the contacts are shifting. So you might see me, like, making some weird eye movements. But we're hanging in there for sure. We're getting better for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, one mil a day. One mil. That reminds me of Amy's life journey. Whatever happened to Ms. Girl, Amy's life journey. Last I heard, she was doing like Etsy type stuff. She still has the kids. I think she was worried about like losing those kids because of her behavior online. That's why she laughed. I think somebody called CPS because she said that she used a, or she didn't say that she used it, but there was always like that, the spoon. She had a wooden spoon and she said, I threatened to use it. I don't actually use it, but she had the spoon and she would be like, don't make me get the spoon. And I think somebody probably called CPS and that's probably why she left because she was worried that something might happen and she would lose those kids. But also she did certainly make some mistakes on the internet for sure. 
when she she punished her child for crying when she was celebrating 600 subscribers and her child was crying because she was filming a video and she punished her instead of like even asking what was wrong like i don't know she could have hurt herself and you're just going right to the punishment we don't know yeah yeah okay so what should we get into next what kind of tea and drama should we get into next yeah amy's life journey in albania spoons are not a threat what does that mean <laughs> what are they spoons don't make me get the spoon <laughs> I can't with that right the kid wanted their mom mm-hmm I think that's what it was or they just hurt themselves and she was mad because her video was messed up I mean you have all the time in the world to refilm right Heck, I mean, nobody's going anywhere. It's an upload. Nobody's going anywhere. Your 600 subscribers are not going anywhere, girl. Or maybe they will. Maybe they will because of what you did. But that is what it is. Ooh, do you want to watch Domestic Goddess Foodie? Or Mukbang Foodie? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Everyday Miriam is such a joke. I'm actually like into the rumor and speculation surrounding Foodie right now because it's so strange what's going on. You want glitter, but she just has like a workout video. Do you want to watch that later? We're going to watch that later. A lot of and just see what it's about. We'll watch Glitter later, but first, let's watch one of these videos, and then we'll watch Glitter. How about that? So I'm going to go ahead and do a poll, and we can discuss Foodie and talk about what she's doing. So here they are exactly. Domestic Foodie. Here's domestic foodie making homemade creamy cauliflower and cheese soup or mukbang foodie chapati chicken filet and cheese sabu sec mukbang slash eat with me. Okay, domestic goddess or mukbang. Mookbong. I actually enjoyed her abandoned school video for some reason. I don't know. It was a breath of fresh air after the previous videos from her. <laughs> to be honest. It's like a breath of fresh air. Drip splash, drip splash, drip splash, drip splash. Run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up. So she had a live stream yesterday, but it was just like, she's not on camera. So yeah, I don't like reacting to her not on camera. Like it just feels like there's nothing to react to. Cause you know me, I like to look for the little Easter eggs, the Easter eggs, eggs, eggs. And you can't really get the Easter eggs when she is not on camera. But uh, what is Salah up to? Is he still out at 2 a.m.? I saw that someone put out a picture of Alasha Beeb and he lost weight. And they, they wrote, I forget who posted that on Twitter, sorry. But they wrote, like, everybody's losing weight except Chantal. <laughs> Here comes Ala Shabib with the weigh-in. Get it, Mr. Shabib. Okay, Allison Beth, thank you for being a member for three months. 
I have missed your face. Hope you are better. Thank you, Allison. Yes. Thank you for being a member for three months. I'm doing better. I'm doing much better. We're not 100%. I'd say we're, what were we? We were 80 on Thursday. I'm probably like 85 now. So we're getting there for sure. I feel like maybe a two more weeks. It'll probably take like two more weeks for me to be a hundred because yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it's the rebound situation type deal. We have to completely like detox from we we're detoxing from like the specific ingredient in anti redness eye drops. It starts with an N, but I can't remember. Close to 300 likes. All right, everybody, let's get up to 300 likes. Yes, 300 likes, 300 likes, 300 likes. Let's do it. We can totally do it. We can totally do it. It's me, Jojo. Thank you for being a member for 17 months. You're an OG. Missed our Gwirl King. Thank you, Jojo. I'm back. Like, I... Not only do I feel better physically, but I feel better mentally as well. Because that was also, like, an issue. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I already have a video planned for Monday. Ready to go. And we just have to, I guess, get up early and work on it, huh? But I have other shit to do first, so. I like to start working on YouTube about 12 noon. Because I have other shit to do. Okay. Wait, who's what's winning the poll? Domestic goddess. I guess we can always watch the mukbang later, right? If we have time. Um, well, let's see... What? Since we're going to watch Domestic Goddess, let's take a look at, like, how much she ate. <laughs> Y'all know me. Let's see how much she ate, girls. How's about it? So this is the mukbang video. We're going to look at the domestic one, but... So she's just eating, like... Is that a sub? I don't understand what that is. It's a it's a sambusak. Chapati chicken filet. Which one's the chapati chicken filet and which one is the cheese sambusak? I have no idea, girl. Just get Burger King at that point. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not good. No. Um Arby's. Do they have Arby's in Kuwait? Asking for a friend. <laughs> All right. I think that uh, we can end it. We can end it. We can end it. We can end it. It's a dry sandwich is what it is. Oh, my gosh. Domestic goblin. Oh, my gosh. You're going to get me in trouble with that. Okay. What do you guys think of like this red theme? I don't like it. Like it's just not giving the right vibes with the red behind her. I think red is like a very strong color. Like you don't always want to have red like as your profile picture. I do like to wear that red Nikocado t-shirt. <laughs> but uh, in a thumbnail, I don't know. Or not, not thumbnail. In a profile picture, I don't know. In the background, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't do anything for her. It certainly doesn't do anything for her looks-wise. It just brings out the redness. And I have a lot of redness, too. So I'm not like coming for her for redness, but it just makes your redness look worse. 
as someone who has redness as well. So. All right. Domestic goddess stitch tape deal. Is that it? No. Hey there, Beezers. Hey there, Beezers. Who wants a cameo? Not me. Want a personalized video? For She's the epitome of self-hatred. <laughs> Epitome. Me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message from me on Cameo. It's super easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. Well, hello, guys. Hello. All right. We made it through that. Yikes. Ugh. I should have just skipped that. What was I doing? Um... I'm already getting like creepy vibes. Like, hello guys, how's it going? Because we know this is just, this is just not her. It's just not her. And nothing that she does can convince me that this is her. It will never be her. And that's okay. Just be who you are. Stop pretending to be somebody else or... Someone you, yeah, somebody else. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I lost my train of thought. It's like people saying to me, like, use your real voice or like, stop like using that voice. It's like, this is just my voice. I can't change it. Like, I just can't change it. That would be difficult for me to do the Kyle voice like forever. Hi guys, Alex here. This is or no, Kyle. Hi guys, Kyle here for a for a live stream reaction. <laughs> that would be difficult for me to do that all the time. So, welcome back to my kitchen here. I'm very excited and feel very good about myself because I um feel like a domestic goddess today. I um, oh my gosh. cleaned my entire kitchen, which Domestic goddess Amber Lynn referred to herself as the narcissistic goddess. <laughs> At least domestic is a little better than narcissistic, huh? Is she going to be like a trad wife? Yeah, trad wife. <laughs> trad wife. I can't. That would be funny if she did like trad wife content. People get upset with me because I just like to stay home and cook and clean. But this is what I like to do. This is my life. <laughs> Can we get that from her? I would like to see that from her. It's like nobody's upset. Nobody cares. Nobody really cares, sweetheart. Like, stop trying to... Stop trying to, like, come up with something just to anger folks. I will admit, has taken a little bit of a nosedive, um, cleanliness-wise, um, since I had a bad sciatica flare-up. Um, oh, yeah, she was bed-bound. Oh, this is interesting already. <laughs> Better than a mukbang. It was just, you know, I was hardly able to move at one point. So, you know, and... I'm kind of stubborn and was teetering on having a maid for a while or like a cleaner, but we never did end up getting one. And um, I just cleaned everything myself. I cleaned the oven, the stove, um, my appliances, air fryer, all the dishes are done, the pods. And that makes her the domestic goddess today. Um, the floor is washed. Um, and I'm, you know, a chicken. I have a roast chicken in the oven and I'm going to be making um, some, and I'll show you. I'll show you how I season my chicken and everything in a minute. Well, look at her doing the damn thing. I mean, wouldn't you want to... Wouldn't you want to do, like, stuff like that instead of scrolling on your phone all day if you don't have a job that you have to go to and she gets to do YouTube with her life? It would be more beneficial mentally for her to go out. But since she can't go out... <laughs> For her to get some stuff done, right? 
now, now, do I believe all of it? No. But that's another point. We have to take what we're given. You know? I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I can only guess. We have to take what we're fed. Even if it is a bullshit sandwich. But uh, I'm going to be making some cheesy cauliflower soup. So I've been wanting to make this for a while. Now, I'm going to be doing a lot of... Right, she cooked the chicken. Wow, girl. Cooking, all right? Because I'm kind of... She was searching for that word. I mean, I do it sometimes, too, where I forget a common word, but, like, cooking? Cooking. Challenging myself. You've seen grocery hauls where we've gotten hundreds of dollars worth of food, and I don't want it to go to waste. Luckily... Yeah, didn't they have a housekeeper... Or she called it a maid. I don't think they have a housekeeper. Maybe they got them to clean the house one time. Hey, mashallah, a lot of it is still actually really good. Um, so we have a lot of like things I can cook with. So I'm going to be challenging myself to not order out, not order groceries until I really need to. All right. So I'm going to use everything I have here. And it's going to be fun because we're going to, it's going to kind of be like a challenge. And maybe you guys can do it too at home. You know, a lot of the times we do it too at home. Girl, people do this stuff every day. This is just their life. And they work eight hours, sweetheart, outside of their homes. They don't just order takeout and eat it like a, you know, for the camera. They actually work eight hours and do this stuff too, sweetheart. How about, how's about that? Could you do that? Hey, we look in the cupboards when we're hungry and we say, you know, I have no food. No, we have a lot of food. We just don't feel like eating it. So I'm going to try to take things that we have in the cupboards and in the freezer and the fridge already. Um, and which is, it's not a terrible amount, but we're going to see what we can do. Okay. We're going to try to make delicious little meals. Oh my goodness. She has to like scrounge for what she has left. What's happening is Salah keeping the wallet closed that's the vibes I'm getting. I mean, she addressed because people were saying that Salah has control of the money. And she didn't say no. Like, she addressed it like, that's so stupid. People say Salah has the money. Like, ugh, you know, like with her smug attitude. But she did not say no. She didn't say no. So does he have the money? Should that be a poll? Does Salah have the money? Is that a thing? Or do the women, I mean, in some cultures, the women have the money and that's like the norm and they pay like the bills, like the, the husband works. This is like traditional, different culture, you know, and not like the U.S. or whatever, where it's like all sorts of people have different vibes. But anyways, this is just a particular vibe where the husband works and the woman, man, the, the wife manages the money, pays the bills, um, takes control of the bank account and stuff. So it is different some places. Well, we know this. We know it's different. Does Salah have the money? Thank you, Angelina Dugan, for the super. Would you eat Amber or Chantal's cooking? Um, I've been asked that before. It's a tough question because I really don't want to eat Chantal's, but I feel like hers is better. Um, I guess Chantal's, I don't know. Should we ask the chat when this pulls over? I mean, Chantal's food looks a lot better than Amber's food. Let's be real here. Out of it and uh, I think also not ordering out for me for a while will also be a healthy move so there's that motivation behind it as well I say to oh yes yeah, Salah's cutting off the takeout mm -hmm. the cameo is her money but she's not making much money on the cameo just like a little bit of like pocket change like maybe $50 a month nothing like wild how many does she do? I'm not sure. 
anywhere from 50 to 100 a month. I don't think she's making like a lot of money on there. As to goddess, because I've always wanted to be one. I've never been somebody who's enjoyed taking care of my home, uh, enjoyed, I mean, I love my home when it's clean and, and you feel accomplished taking care of your things, you know? And I've just never been one to really enjoy doing that. So I feel really positive and really happy today that I did those things. And I know some people, you know, have to juggle working full time. Have okay, pay attention to her eyes darting when she's talking about this. Her eyes are this way and that way and down and over and to the side. Lies. It's just flat out lies. She can't even look herself in the face. And I've just never been one to really enjoy doing that. So I feel really positive and really happy today that I did those things. Left. And I know some people, right. you know, have to right. juggle working full time, uh, have to juggle like two and a half kids and, and still maintain their home and yes. feed their family. And honestly, if you're one of those. But they're not 400 pounds. People pat yourself on the back because that is very difficult for a lot of people. And I'm. Pat yourself on the back. One of those people. I couldn't even imagine if I had to do all of those things, you know? So just taking care of my home right now is a big thing for me, especially with how I'm feeling. So, but I'm getting better at it and I'm slow. Wow, the delusion is real in this one, huh, guys? She can't even ma imagine working a job. She can't even imagine working a job other than YouTube like an eight hour outside the house job or even an eight hour at home job where you can get it done in six. She couldn't even do that. I'll be feeling better. And so I'm excited. So I want to have lies. a really, I have some cheese. That's probably some cheddar cheese. That's probably going to go bad soon. And I do also have a um, cauliflower that's going to be bad soon as well. And some carrots. So all this food I'm using is going to be bad soon. And I want to use it. So I thought, what better? Right. When she used to say, shh, I said, shh. I missed that. Why can't she say that anymore? Is she not allowed to say, shh, I said, shh. <laughs> anymore? Like, what's going on? Where is it? Where's my, shh? I said, shh, sound bite. <laughs> All right, I'll play her while I look for it. Or let's end the poll. Does Salah have the money? 47% say that yes, he does have the money. And 53 say no, he does not have that money. There's just no way that Chantal would let a man have her money. So it's pretty like 50-50 almost. Way. You know, if you have a bunch of leftover vegetables, if you have a bunch of leftovers in general in the fridge, throw it all in a casserole or a stew or a soup or something like that. So <laughs> That's great. What was her job? She had a few jobs. She was a like administrative assistant. So like a one step above like a secretary, right? That's what she was, right? She was like a secretary of sorts at a mental health hospital. And she was also, she worked in a call center with Pete's. I believe they worked there together or maybe not. I mean, they both worked at a call center, but I don't know if it was at the same time. She actually dated Pete's at one point and um, ran up his credit cards because they were not bringing in the YouTube money back then. V, thank you for the super. Someone speculated that feeders buy her cameos. <laughs> um, I think all the cameos are public unless you can request it to be private. Or you could always um, just email her in private and ask for like a feeder cameo, feeder style cameo. Can I see you take a bite and like moan, like pretend that you're hungry fat chick? <laughs> candy, like I, I like candy, but the moans are like over the top, girl.
is that like for real? Or is she playing it up? Is she playing it up? We're never gonna get through this. Let's get through it. For this, I'm gonna be making a soup. Now, I'm gonna be doing it my way in particular because there's so many different recipes out there, right? So this is gonna be very simple. I'm not gonna be using flour. Um, I don't feel like making a roux to make it thicker. I think blending a the roux. vegetables will make the soup thicker. So, yeah. See, Chantal knows like way more about cooking than Amber does. Yella, let's start. Even if some of it doesn't look very good. Art, all right? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Benji. We're going to do a poll to see whose cooking you would eat. Whose cooking would you eat? All right, I'll play it and type. All right, so here's how I prepare my chicken for roasting. I just uh, make a rub with olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, uh, seven spices, onion and garlic powder, black pepper, okay, and some sea pot. salt. And then I uh, bake it in the oven. While Ew. the chicken's cooking. That chicken just does not look good. It's raw, though. I'm just, like, being immature. I prepare some basmati rice by soaking it in some water. Just wanted to show you my clean kitchen a little bit. Added new foil to the elements, which helps keep them clean underneath. Natter throwback with the raw chicken. <laughs> my way. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do it my way. Pots are clean. My floor is clean. That was kind of painful with my sciatica, but it's not perfect and it's still drying. But, you know, at least it's clean enough. You refuse to vote? No, you have to vote. <laughs> it's your right. Exercise your right. And have your voice heard. <laughs> you know, a lot of the times it's an impossible choice. So. And cast here your we vote. have my uh, counter space I have to work with when I'm chopping things up. I leave a little crack of my window open and the fan on. Yeah, this is my space. So. Wait, what's with like the drain on the floor? I know I've seen that already, but, like, do you guys have drains on your kitchen? That's not a thing in America. And she's not on the first floor, so that has to go through, like, the piping and everything. I mean, e even if it is the first floor, it does, too, but I don't know. Drain on your kitchen floor, why? What exactly is that for? You're going to spill that much? Is there some sort of issue that's common over there? I don't know. I understand your bathroom, but... Huh. I am confusion. Only in restaurants. Right, yeah, they have those in restaurants, of course. For flooding. Right, but... It wouldn't flood in there. It's like she's not on the first floor. I have some it's carrots. easier to clean. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Like their method of cleaning is to do... Uh, some people like pour a lot of water and do it like that. Maybe that's just more common over there. I know that's a thing in Mexico. They pour a lot of water. And clean, 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 clean. It gets it really clean. And then it goes down the drain. Okay. I'm going to guess that's what it is. Seven deadly chins. Thank you for the super domestic goddess. My peach. <laughs> we all remember the blue pot. Oh my goodness. Girl, did you have to remind us about the blue pot? I finally got that out of my memory. <laughs> for those that, for the uninitiated, the blue pot was a pot, obviously, in the villa that she left in the sink for probably months. And it had grown so moldy, so incredibly moldy that I think she just had to throw it out. Like it wasn't even salvageable at that point. 
or she was just too lazy to clean it. I mean, you could probably still clean it, but at that point, I'd probably throw it away too, but I wouldn't ever let it happen in the first place. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you for reminding us of that. Everybody needs to know about the blue pot. That's like a side character. Let's cut up here. Let me get a pot. That's a side character. I have these nice stainless steel pots my husband bought for me a little while back. <laughs> when he heard I, I wanted to be cooking more, he got excited. Listen, Salah bought it for her, so she wasn't able to buy it. About that. So I have two or um, carrots cut know. up here, and I did wash them thoroughly. So I'm just going to cut the stem out. Does she ever talk about, like, I bought this. This is what I bought. You know what? I just realized that. That's weird. She barely ever talks about, like, I bought this new Abaya. Like, she doesn't, she wears the same clothes every day. She hasn't done a clothing haul in a long time. And she never shows, like, look at my new XYZ. Salah's, like, not letting her buy shit. Right? Like, what has she bought recently? Right? He bought it with her money, probably. What has she bought recently? Like, nothing. She never shows it. The grocery hauls. <laughs> And she has done clothing hauls, but it's been a long time. Oh, no way. I don't have a trick for that. However way you can struggle with it is the best way. <laughs> there we go. Came out pretty easy. Just take a knife and go underneath, kind of. She can't find her size. Well, I mean, she was able to find her size in, like, Abaya's. Garbage bag here. Okay. I'm just going to cut some of the brown parts off. Okay, so let's start here. These Abaya's are custom made. You can't get them at Saks, though. <laughs> That's so good. I'm dead. Is she sitting? Oh, yeah, she's absolutely sitting. I didn't even, like, realize that. But, yeah, thank you for pointing that out. I'm just, like, used to her sitting, you know? I'm going to be blending this so it doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing. No. She knew that was like a good joke, right? A good joke. <laughs> These abayas are custom made. You can't get them at Maurice's Plastic. though. <laughs> All right, let's end the poll. Whose cooking would you eat? 57% say... Amber Lynn Reed and 43, 42. Okay, 58% say ALR, 42% say Foodie Beauty slash every day, Miriam. <laughs> She's violating the cauliflower. No, no, no. Usable cauliflower. There you go. Don't, oh, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Barely covering it's the tricky. cauliflower and carrots. And we're going to let that come to a boil. On, cover it, cook it on like medium heat, let it boil down. Let the vegetables cook till they're tender, fork tender. And then we're going to go on from there. Now. What is with the shifty eyes tonight? Two of the soup when the vegetables are cooked. 
The By shifty way, eyes, hardcore eyes. shifty eyes. Some chicken bouillon cubes. Don't do, do it. Do the boiling down nicely. <laughs> raw, raw. Pull for make out with Salah or nah. No. No, no, no. I don't want to make everybody sick. Stop cubes. Wait. Stop cubes. Is that all her hair? No, no, no. I think it's just like the, the, the way that the hijab is like tucked in the back. But notice how she doesn't buy anything. That's got me. Like, I feel like we figured out a mystery here tonight that she doesn't buy anything anymore. Like, either Salah's hanging on to that money or she is broke, broke. Because she used to, all the time, show off the things that she was buying. Like, no matter what it was. Like, oh, look at this Amazon package. Or my new clothes from Maurice's. Whatever it was. That was content for her. Or the skincare that she would get at Lush. Which, she did one of those in Kuwait, I believe. A Lush haul. But not recently. Jackie Attacky, thank you for the super. Hi, Ozempic update. Took it for two weeks and it helped my sugars so much, but couldn't handle the side effects. Second week, all I could eat was crackers. Okay, Jackie, come through with the Ozempic. All you could eat was crackers the second week? Yikes. I mean, is it helping? Are you going to be able to eat? Eat more coming up. I'm wishing you luck, Jackie. Give us an update next time. I did hear that Ozempic is like targeting fat acceptance people and they're like fed up with it. So they're pushing back. I have to look into that. Could be a video. Could be a video. But it's still firm, so we'll let them cook. It's gonna be dirty. I know. Ozem oh, pig. I'm cooking. <laughs> what do you guys think of Ozem pig? Oh. All right, be back, All right, guys. While that's. I thought of that myself. The milk is in the way. <laughs> while that's uh, still cooking, I'm going to um make some pita chips for the soup. So. Pita chips. She's making chips. Always freeze bread that's gonna go bad because you can use it for things like croutons, pita chips. So this is something the is off. Yeah, I, but is something off or is there just always something off? Because I feel like I say that in every video, but something seems off in every video. You know. Whenever we feel like the vibe is off, the vibe always is off. And there's something more going on. So what's going on, girl? Just spill it. Just get it out now before you have to, like, rage when somebody figures it out and you come on raging and crying. Just get it out now calmly and respectfully. Bread I have. I'm just going to grab it and... Microwave it actually. <laughs> Throw it in. I just All put right, the whole bag in there because it bread. kind of steams it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a baking dish. She's fake, that's what's off. Well, she's also always fake in these videos. She's always fake in the videos, huh? The vibe is just off. Salah gave her attention. I'm short and everything is up here. <laughs> she lives in Uncanny Valley. The Uncanny Valley? What's the other one called? Like, there's another one. 
that TV show. It's sort of like Uncanny Valley. I can't remember. Parchment paper? Parchment paper? Parchment paper is like my baking sheet, I swear. Parchment okay. paper? Perfect. Now, I'm just gonna rip it in pieces like this. Age is nobody's friend. Just little pieces. <laughs> I feel like I look better than I did when I was 24. Like, I just look better. I don't know why. Maybe men just look better a little bit older. Sometimes. Twin Peaks and Twilight Zone. Yep, both of those would work. Mm-hmm. Stepford Wives? Uh, no. The Truman Show? Yep. I've always wanted to watch Twin Peaks, I think. Is that good? Should you watch it? Should I watch The Gilded Age? Put a one in the chat if you've watched The Gilded Age and you recommend it. Because I've been thinking about I kept saying I'm going to watch it, but I still haven't gotten around to it. I, like, fell asleep on the first episode, and so I, like, forget everything, you know? You have to just start over. Especially when that gummy hits, and then you fall asleep, you don't remember anything. So I have to start over. Have we all peaked? We all age differently. Oh. Please stop saying you're I'm old. old. I don't think I'm old. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just older than I was. They're obviously delicious fried as well, but we're gonna kind of oven fry them. You know, I'm an adult now. I feel like you're still a kid until like 20, 24. Then you're an adult. <laughs> you're a kid till you're 24. It's in my eyes. Sometimes I throw a bit of bread to the pigeons that come on the windowsill. So I'm just gonna make a little bit here. The pigeons on the okay. sill. Oh my gosh, she's like the old lady at the park with a loaf of bread. Feeding the birds. I mean, God bless that old lady, but girl. <laughs> Cute sweater. Do you guys like it? It's from Amazon, actually, but I've had it for a couple years. It's Amazon Essentials brand. It's actually pretty good quality. I'm not sure how much it was, though. That's tacky to share prices. I want to know prices. I'm nosy. And Maybe I'm tacky. Shit. And I don't, I don't know where the lid for my salt is. Such a disaster. A little bit of salt. Oh, preppy. This little I'm so pan. preppy. Awesome for the kitchen. <laughs> I'm a preppy. And then we're just going to shake them around. Like that. So they get nice and Animal Crossing. I miss Animal Crossing. I kind of want to get back into it, but I want to start a new one, right? If I just uh, use a different switch, I can use a new island, right? I can make a new island, right? On a different switch. I have like two switches. I want to start from square one. I loved that. Make it sure was perfect for it. the pandemic. It came out at the perfect time. I'm going to get to temperature before I bake these. All it right. couldn't have got perfect. And I'll see you guys back when they're done. All right, let's see if this is finished. They're very tender. All right. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn the heat up high and let some of the liquid just like uh, evaporate because I want to add milk. 
but I added too much liquid. I don't really measure when I cook. I should start so I can share my recipes with Stardew. you Stardew. So that'll evaporate on high heat. Cook down a little bit. Yeah, I missed that too when everyone was playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. That was such a moment in time. We were all playing at the same time. That was awesome. I don't think I ever really had anyone come to my island. When I was a kid growing up, though, I would have island parties all the time on the DS version with my friends and like also internet friends in the animalcrossingcommunity.com. All right, I'm going to turn the heat down. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a moment in time for sure. So I'm going to add some seasonings. I need to fill my spice jars. Garlic powder. You, real onion and garlic work best. I didn't have any. <laughs> so, yeah. Onion powder. Hurry it up, girl. Black pepper. She's about to flame broil her bosoms. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, girl, go, don't get too close. Whole milk. The DS version, yup, that was the tea back in the day. The tea, 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 tea. Stir? Wild world. All right. right, so here we go. Now I'm gonna blend the vegetables. I'll be right back. It's not as good as the new ones, but Stardew. Should I play Stardew? So that's what it looks like. I've only played it a very little bit. I'm gonna add the cheese. Which that's a game you have to play a lot to get into. She'll be 40 this year, absolutely, okay. yeah, in a couple months. March, right? When's her birthday? Let's put it in our calendar. Huh. Do you guys want the. Right <laughs> you want to play Fortnite? I suck at Fortnite. You know what I was playing? Splatoon 3. Um, I kind of suck at that, but I started getting better the more that I played. I used to be really good at it. I played the first one. I was so good. Now all the players, they play for hours and hours and hours. I can't keep up. They're like amazing. I'm going to look up Foodie's birthday. So I'm not ignoring you guys by texting guys or anything. <laughs> Add a little bit more milk. That's annoying, right? When people are texting the whole time on the live stream. March 28. Yeah. I'm March just gonna 28. let the cheese melt. <laughs> That's crazy that um, 1980s babies are turning 40 now. Wow. They're all turning 40 this year. Or, I mean, 1984 is, but <laughs> they're going to be in the years coming up. And we're all turning 30, millennials. I remember when, like, the 80s babies were, like, the, just, like, the people a little bit older than me, you know? I mean, they still are, but, like, <laughs> when I was 10, they were the ones in their 20s, you know? They were like the celebrities when I was a kid. All right, here's the pita chips. Like Britney. Nice and crunchy. Yum. Now I didn't have to add any extra salt because the cheese and the bouillon is salty, but you can salt it to your taste. The cheese, okay. All right, it's just about done, guys. All right, so it's finished. Let's serve it up and try a bite with, oh. oh. What would you guys, all the people that say they'd rather eat Amber's cooking, what are y'all eating? The chili? I would take um, Foodie Beauty's mac and cheese or the church basement spaghetti. I mean, she can't F up basement spaghetti, right? Or mac and cheese, right? You can't F that up. I love a, like, really good mac and cheese. Mm. Let's try that again. All right, let's serve this up. It smells amazing. 
goblin soup. Cucumber boats. You're eating the cucumber boats? That's not cooking. <laughs> That's just putting something on something. You want the chili? What about the taco soup? The taco slop? Here it is. That was okay. I made it. I made the taco slop, but I wouldn't add the leaves. Whatever the leaves are that you add, I forget. I wouldn't add them. I don't like that. I think it's just spinach. All right, here it is. Cauliflower cheddar. And of course there's carrot in there. The I don't like chips. leaves in my taco so soup. Crunchy. Oh, it's hot. I don't like leaves in soup, period. Mm, it gets like soggy. Mm. Ugh. So good. Is she giving us a bite? <laughs> choo choo. Is that how she feeds Salah? Is Salah into that now? <laughs> He's not only into... Oh, you know what? He's actually into the adult baby diaper lovers. <clears throat> but not only that, he's into when grown adults act like kids and wear like onesies and goo goo gaga and have like a binky. So he dresses up like that, right? And has so, has Chantal feed him choo-choo with the soup. And that's why he's into the feces. Because, you know, I mean, any parent knows there's a lot of feces involved in that. In a newborn, right? There you go. Wait for you. I made that all up, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Those Peter chips. The carrot adds, like, a sweetness. Mm, so good. He loves the diapers. You guys, this was so simple. He's a diaper lover. I can't. And I had some... What was that? The way that she ate that. Hold on. Like it was going to run away. Like what was that? A ghost? Oh. Oh. A pigeon just came and got some bread on my window. So. Oh, nice. So delicious. Mmm. <laughs> All right, girly. Like. Can even dip it. <laughs> dip in the pita chips. I'm telling you, homemade. Not bad, not bad. I don't always have like the energy or the motivation, but it's so much better. She, she has to have her her cheese as soup. You know, she's not just. She's not good enough with just cheese. She needs her soup to be cheese. Now. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. I'm enjoying doing these videos for you guys and sharing my recipes with you. You can make something out of whatever you have in your... Yeah, soup is ALR's thing. <laughs> Pantry, your fridge, your freezer. Don't ever think that you have nothing because you'd be surprised what you can do. Um, I have... That's actually really true. I always think I've got nothing. And there's like 10 different recipes I could make if I wanted to. I'm going to dig into my diet root beer right now. I'm being a bad, bad girl. <laughs> I can't. She'll soon be drinking the cheese. No, she'll have Salah funnel it. So she'll put a funnel in her mouth. And then Salah will like pour the cheese sauce into the funnel. And she'll be like, look, 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 I like it when you choke on it, baby. Some vegetables that we're going to go buy, some cheese. You know, I had to use. Salah, it's too much. It's too much. 
I like when you choke on it. The milk and made it wonderful, um, comforting. Yikes. Cheddar cauliflower soup with baked pita chips. So, yeah. That's how he was acting. Mm. In my like he, was. he was being like violent. Like not violent, but like his words. I mean, words aren't violent. You get what I mean. <laughs> to all the people that heard the text, the voice text. You don't have to use a roux with flour and butter because blending the vegetables makes it thick. Yikes on bikes. <laughs> you can even blend a potato, like half a potato. Sorry, with, guys. Uh, cook it with the cauliflower and the carrot. And that will also thicken it a lot. Sorry, guys. I started to drift off from this one here towards um, the I'm end. I'm letting it sit for a few minutes before you dig in like I did, but it's so good. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. That's See it. Bye. Oh, before I go. I'm I need more. I just want more. I show you the chicken dinner result. I did have a little bit myself. Some rice and some roast chicken. And I made with the chicken drippings a nice chicken gravy to go on top. Oh, there's the chicken gravy. Ooh. That chicken gravy don't look right to me. It's so thick. It was very delicious. I hope you're having something good for dinner. See you next video. Bye. Bye. Uh, okay, sweetheart. <laughs> 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 I'm not feeling the chicken gravy. Mm -mm. That's not for me, but if you like it, <laughs> have at it. All right, guys, we're going to go on a little break for just like three or four minutes. I'll try to make it quick. Just a little bathroom break here coming up. Everybody, go get your snacks, and we will be back. I'm looking for a video that I can play while you guys wait. How about Glitter and Lasers Target? Yeah. What would you think if one. you... We're going to watch Glitter next, right? And then maybe we'll watch Chantal's Mukbang. All right. Most replayed moment. All right, y'all. We're going to take a little break. Everyone go get go get their snacks. Go use the bathroom. Toke break. Yeah, go toke. Light them if you got them. They like to say, and I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Why so much hat? Too much hat. Now my hair is all messy. Whatever. Y'all. Y'all. What would you think if you saw somebody like her and then they had a cameraman following around in Target? It caught my eye, and if they don't have my size, I'm going to be so pissed. Influencers in the wild is cringe. It is cringe. It is a bedazzled denim jacket. Bedazzled! That seems to be her thing. Like, anything with flair... Okay, this is a large, and now I'm going to go dig through the jackets. She does manage to pick out some cute outfits sometimes. I kind of love it. I wonder how many it's clothes so she has, like a ton. But it's kind of amazing. And what does she do, like, if she's going to lose weight? Because that was her. I heard she didn't make any progress. She said, like, a couple of years back um, that she wanted to improve her mobility because because she does go on a lot of vacations and stuff. Disney World is her favorite. Disneyland. But she didn't make any progress. So I have to wonder, what is she eating? Because she also works out a lot. And she is moving around a lot in these short videos. I'm getting it. It's so stupid. I love it. I mean, it's teddy What's bears that? with Christmas lights. How that looks tiny. I had to. I had to. Okay, I kind of like this one. I don't like that I can't read it clearly though. But there's part of me like this is the one I wanted. Warm and cozy. Cozy. Not my size. I mean it looks very stretchy though, but I'm gonna let this feather live its best life. Do you guys remember speaking of stretchy, there was a 
plus size influencer. Her name is escaping me right now. Shy Curves. Shy Curves. She was a YouTuber. And she had a controversy where she went to Walmart and she claimed that she was discriminated against because she took a sweater to the dressing room and she had this on film. So did she know that they were going to do this? So she took the sweater to the dressing room and the lady, the Walmart worker, said, don't push it. And she was like, what do you mean? And the Walmart lady goes, don't push it. <laughs> and Shy Curves claimed that the sweater was like extra, extra, extra large, right? But when you saw the video, I think it said medium. She was flat out lying. So it was obvious the Walmart lady's going to be skeptical. Like, what's going on here? Don't push it. You can't um, damage the clothes. That's her job. But Shy Curves claimed that she was discriminated against because they said, don't push it. <laughs> Not on me. Also, why do they make all this cute ass cute clothes? Does anyone remember that? Like, please tell me you remember that. And none of it in my size. That's all I want to say. I it was like I... years and years and years ago. All of it. Girl world drama before there was a girl world. Theme of this video. It's not my size. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta find this in my size. So that's really cute. The they never seem to have my size at Target, I mean, some things. When you're large or extra large or medium, good luck, good luck, because those are the average sizes. You can always find like huge or tiny, like a small or an extra small. Girl, I couldn't fit that since I was 21. A blazer. Come face to face with something that like I was destined for. She's a blazer lover for Not sure. Again, it's like, yeah, no. That's probably a frequent problem oh. for her. What about this? This was supposed to be a fun and joyful trip, but it's turning out kind of sad. We're gonna turn Nothing it around. fits. We're gonna turn it around. It will, but isn't she used to that? We'll be okay. No fans. Yeah. But let's be realistic yeah, here. We think this is a plus section. Look how sad this. They don't have a terrible. big man section. I'm gonna help my girls out. <laughs> you wanna talk about discrimination? There's a ton of plus size clothes, but not big men clothes. Kohl's does. <laughs> they look absolutely horrific. <laughs> and it's big and tall. Maybe put her in this so they can be what like if you're What if you're big and short? They look pissed. What is it's she gonna terrible. do? Girl. Like, what is this? This girl has a beanie on too. She's, she's not gonna. So bad. Okay, I'm gonna keep her pants because I think it's gonna be too much. To stick She's her not pants. gonna do that, right? Honestly, these two mannequins should. She's got her <laughs> her parts out together because they're both going to a party. Why do I feel bad for the mannequin? I gotta keep her. Just keep, this clean keep her decent. Up. What are these shoes? Who is this girl? Give me that. Girl, you don't mess with the mannequins unless that's the last size left and you really want it and you know it fits. Give me that. I know I'm gonna use. She's not. Girl, you need a sparkle. What the hell? Girl, that's not. Get this in. <gasps> she has the. What? There's a target. Did she do this on purpose? The person, like, right across the way and I'm. Right, because they're working and you're literally over there changing the shirt on the mannequin. Just having to pretend like nothing's happening. Do they have to do a specific one or does the person that work there pick out an outfit that they would like or they think looks good? No, they have to pick out a specific one, right? It's all like picked out by corporate. You should know this, Shook. <laughs> the poor man again watching this back after everybody told me that she was probably drinking like how did I not see it <laughs> how did I not see that like no crap she was probably drinking 
You think I looked so good there? What do I look like garbage now? <clears throat> Should I get the Adidas thingy? Oop. You like the hat? Should I wear the hat more often? I think my hair was like so bad. I needed a haircut so bad that that's why I was wearing the hat. Glitter and buzz balls. Okay, here's the look. Do we look the same? Do I look skinnier? Because I lost weight since then. Okay. Already, eh? Already, oh. Facial hair is giving. Yeah, we don't have as much as we did then. Okay. I look good with a buzz cut. We're like close. Not really, but look how flat it is already. Just one hair. Totally skinnier, you think? Well, I, I lost like maybe 10 pounds since then. I don't know. When was that? November. I don't know. Because I like fluctuate a lot. And 10 pounds is not that much. Okay. What should I do? What am I watching? Oh, do you guys want to watch Glitter and Lasers? Um... Her workout video. I guess we'll try it, right? Because I did want to do a segment on glitter and lasers. People definitely seem to enjoy her. It's just that she doesn't upload that much. So it becomes a situation tape deal of where there is nothing to react to. But I guess we'll try it. Yeah, my mom cuts my hair, yeah. My cousin has cut my hair before. Oh, the new workouts are not safe for her to be doing. Okay, so let's take a look at them then. We'll judge for ourselves. The lighting is way brighter in the old video. Is that? Hmm. Is it? <laughs> okay. A lot of you. The money, honey. She only uploads for sponsors. That's so true. She literally only uploads if there's a sponsorship due. No wonder. Anthony, thank you for being a member for 16 months. OG, OG, OG. Alex, have you heard the new Slater album? No, I haven't. But I will definitely add that to my Apple Music, like, right now. Where's my phone? I'll definitely add that. I did hear um, Kim Petra's new album, though. Evil Debbie, thank you for the super. You and Jordy should do a collab, make a trip to Pitt. You know, that seems, that would be pretty cool, right? I want to, like, meet Gabby Hannah. <laughs> she lives up there, too. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Thank you, Evil. Lil Debbie, Evil Debbie. A lot of you have asked me questions about how to get started working out and how to even go to a gym for the first time. And I'm gonna tell you a little secret. You never have to set foot in a gym if you don't want to. In fact, there's tons of great tools you can use. Grinder check, just kidding. I'm not actually, I would actually tell you guys if I was. I would just tell you, you guys know me. You guys know me. Revisited CPAP Rescue. Um, we did like multiple times, yeah. 
Weeble wobble and lasers at home to create an exercise routine that's not only going to challenge you but help you build muscle over time meet jordy's wife and kids right in your house so today i thought it'd be really cool to take you guys through what i use personally in my kind of like makeshift home gym to help me build my strength my endurance okay here we go what is this a sponsorship for her gym equipment items i am wearing in the video so she has her like that workout top, the leggings, and shoes, and then the workout bench, everything, literally everything that is featured in the video is here for you to purchase. How much is this? Percussion. Oh, okay. 89 I thought it would be one of those ones that is like, um, I thought it would be one of those ones that is like $400. You know what I mean? <laughs> LOL. Eh, well. It's not a surprise. Endurance in my muscles. I'm a Swifty, yeah. So hopefully you can find some things that might help you build a space at home that feels welcoming and helps you progress to a healthier lifestyle. Let's get into it. Let's start with the biggest and arguably one of my best home gym fitness purchases. Okay, that's her little bench. Um, The drama about glitter and the lady complimenting her when she was working out. Um, no. Wait. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like maybe I did. Wait, does anyone have the clip? Where is it? What, um, what social media profile is it on? I feel like this is cute, right? Doesn't look right, though. I need this to be, like, here. There you go. Didn't see that. I don't care. Oh, I don't know if we're talking about the same thing. Drama. No, yeah, I want to see the drama. Where can I find it? This is a Flybird workout bench. You might be asking, why this bench? Well, I did a lot of research because I am in a bigger body. And frankly, I am terrified that a bench is going to collapse under me and that he I'm going to get injured. Boy. So what I loved about this bench yeah, is that- Yeah, can you imagine if you broke a bench? I mean, those are th those things are sturdy, though. I mean, people are holding... It's meant to hold a lot of weight because people are holding, like, really heavy weights while they're on there. Michelle McDaniel and Obese to Beast. I mean, Michelle McDaniel is amazing. Obese to beast is obese to bozo. <laughs> oh, okay. Why didn't I do a video on that? I feel so dumb. Now. <laughs> Ugh, I need to be like on it. I need to be like checking these profiles and stay on top of things. Because I missed it five days ago. It's, it's old news now. But we can, of course, talk about it here. I'm, like, kicking myself. Obese to beezer. That supports up to 800 pounds, which means not only will it support my weight, but will also support me using my weight in exercises. You know, that extra weight that comes with force. And I'm bouncing. <laughs> this is so awkward. But you get the point. You get the point. Now, I also like it because it's really adjustable. You can put it in a variety of different settings based on your workout. So if you need back support when you're sitting or if you need to lay down, both options are available. You can. Okay, girl. Is this safe for her? I don't like obese to beast. Um, it's not that I don't like him. I don't have a problem with obese to beast. I don't have an issue with obese to beast. No. 
and also work out at an incline as you challenge yourself further in your workout. Also, and this is probably my favorite thing about it, it folds up and you can hide it in a closet or a corner of your house. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. Okay, let's look for the drama. I feel like we need to see that first before we get into this. But I'm not sure. I don't want to react to like someone. Maybe someone put like the... Maybe someone just did like a tea video where they just have the tea and not like the drama. They didn't get into the drama. You know what I mean? They just posted the receipts. A receipt video. A receipt video. <laughs> that would be amazing. Okay, so there is Sam at every size. Oh my god, a bunch of people did reactions to this. Okay, Megan Ann was talking about this 11 days ago. It was that long ago. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let me see if Megan Ann just has the clip. And then we can just check that out. Because I don't really want to react to her. TBH. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. No offense to Megan Ann. I'm a subscriber. Okay, so here it is. We're here. We're talking about it. <laughs> so I just stopped. Okay. I think this is right. I think this is right. So this is a clip from Megan Ann here on YouTube. And yeah. Back to my run to have a little cry in this beautiful area. And um, I'm crying for a silly reason. Somebody stopped me on the trail while I was walking, just doing my cool down. I was doing like intervals today. So like. Oh, I did see this. I saw this. You're a little late. I know it's 11 days old. The tea's cold, but, you know, I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen it yet. Everybody and your mother did a video already. We have to stay on it. It's just telling me it's a learning lesson for me to stay the fuck on it. I walk in between and she's like, good job getting out there. And it just felt so dehumanizing. It felt dehumanizing. Wait, I have a perfect sound bite for this Kyle don't disappoint me now I am being dehumanized I am being dehumanized job getting out there and it just felt so dehumanizing I am being dehumanized Good job getting out there. And it just felt so dehumanizing. I am being dehumanized. It felt so shitty. And I just okay. was having a bad day anyway. I came out here to run to try to feel better. And I know this person was well-intentioned, but man, it felt shitty. That's what it was. Like, that felt shitty to her. So I'm... Guessing her perspective was, like, because she's fat, someone was like, good job getting out there. Because she's big. And so that's what this lady, like, meant. And, like, she wouldn't say to that someone, say that to someone unless they were her size. Is that the train of thought here? Glitter's having? I think so. It felt really bad. No. I already not. know I'm going to get a ton of DMs being like, she's well-intentioned. But you know what? I am about to start my period. I'm hormonal AF. And I'm going to be really honest here. That woman saw me and assumed that I was entirely out of shape and that... Okay, if she's, like, having mood swings, that kind of explains it. It was my first day on the trail. She's irrational. And that's because she has preconceived views of what a plus-size body is and is not able to do. And as a person who's out here every freaking day trying to change that perspective, it's frustrating. Well, but it's I mean, still so ingrained in our society. 
It doesn't matter how many miles I run. It doesn't matter how many times I'm on the trail. Someone's always going to stop me and treat me that way. And it sucks. Treat you like that way. What does she mean? Treat me that way. Like, I feel like that was not, it's not like she treated her bad. I can actually understand her perspective um, because it was because she was fat that she said that. And that's what her mind told her because like, I do that too. Where I'm like, oh, they said that because I'm gay or like whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it is irrational. It is irrational. And she was just being nice. Anyways, this is from Megan Ann. If you guys want to check her out, there's another clip as well. Glitter and lasers. I will link this down below once I get off the live stream. Glitter and lasers triggered by words of encouragement and other stories. Fat acceptance TikTok react. I have to get on the TikTok because that's where the real tea is, huh? That's where the real drama is. Okay, here's another one. Shall we? Just got home. Okay, great. Yes, here we are. And somebody asked me, like, what would I prefer she had said or done? What is she drinking? I want to know what she's drinking. <laughs> and I thought about this because I think it's important to share that there are ways to engage or interact with people on the trail and even cheer them on without making them feel less than. So my Did favorite that thing really make her feel less than? I feel like that's just over the top. Like, and I, I can understand being rubbed the wrong way, but like, that's about as far as I would go. Dehumanized. And what did she say? On the trail and even cheer them on without making them feel less than. So feel less than. Like, that's too much. Good night, Lillian. You can't do TikTok too much time commitment. Do you mean, like, make your own TikToks? Or... My favorite thing that people do on the trail all the time is just give me a smile. Honestly, that gives me a lot of energy. Okay. And doesn't make me feel less than. Just give her a smile, guys. That's all she's able to handle these days. I'm being dehumanized. Is that good enough for you? Baby. 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 You want some no sugar? Yeah. Oh, Natter, go away. Preferably to a jail cell. Thank you. And it's easy. So I would say just give me a smile. I love it. Yeah, did she want her to start cheering and clapping? No, that would be dehumanizing. That would make her feel less than cheering and clapping. What if they were like, yeah, big girl, get it, get it, big girl. Yes. Yes. I don't think that would be the tea. This isn't the drama. Then what's the drama? And honestly, I would say there's no need for words. Can you type it out? Like, what? what's the other drama? Unless you know who I am and you know my journey, then it's a little bit different, right? I had a guy fist bump me once and be like, I just think you're awesome and I love that you're sharing your story. And okay. that Is was that awesome okay? because there was context <laughs> that made it clear that this person knew who I was. Is that okay, sweetheart? He knew who you were. Okay, so it was like that moment, that moment. There was this really nasty, like, Twitter account going after her, but for, like, the totally wrong reasons. They were going after her for working out in a gym, being her size. Like, girl, there's some other reasons. You want to have some criticisms, but going to a gym is not one of them. Going to a gym is not one of them. What do you want her to do? Lock herself up? Stay inside all day? No. Eating bonbons? Understood what I was doing and what it took to get there. And that made it feel more sincere versus diminutive. Okay, so those are the she second sees two the lady she again. posted when she got home. Um, how? She sees the lady again, again? Okay, Michelle McDaniel has even more clips. Okay, let's go there. 
Well, thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan, for the contribution. Just give a thumbs up. Yes. And yes, can we get um, up to 500 likes? Can we get up to 500 likes? 500 likes. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just kidding. That's like old. Does that girl still do that? Pinky doll. Pinky Barbie dolly. Eating bonbons. That's what my grandma used to say. Yeah, that's what my parents used to say. Um, staying at home, eating bonbons. When I was like, can you, if I wanted them to like take me somewhere and it was kind of late or something like that, I don't know if they were tired or whatever. They were like, do you think I stay home, stay at home all day and eat bonbons? <laughs> something to convey like they're tired and they worked all day. Do you think I stay at home and eat bonbons all day? And I would say like, yes. <laughs> As a joke, because I was like a little shithead. I was a little shithead. <laughs> They're still doing it, NPCs. NPCs are still doing it. Thank you, Momo. Thank you so much. 12 minutes. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Momo. Um, 1220. Okay. So this is, we're going to look at glitter and lasers, but the clip is from Michelle McDaniel. You guys know her. She doesn't need any introduction from me or shout out from me. She's doing, she's doing great on her own. Ex fat acceptance influencer breaks down over compliment. Yeah, you heard it here. That's right. Anna sees the same woman. And this person's just standing on the yes. trail menacingly. And she Oh my gosh. Get ready, guys. Yeah. Stops me. I don't even think she realizes she's already seen me. This woman and she goes is a menace. Waves and is like, good job. No! <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Oh Anna, God. you got me all right. The woman is a menace. I can't. Held up, and that was the peak of the story. A uh, good job. Uh, it's no secret. She said, "Good job." Secret that Anna has a very distinct look. She don't blend in, and she distinct wears very look. bright clothing. She's always filming herself. She's dancing around everywhere to show how happy she is. That's I'm very true. I'm pretty sure this woman waved at you happily because she. And a lot of it's fake. We can tell remembers who you are and the fact that she yeah. waved to anna in a happy way probably shows that she didn't mean to offend you with her compliment in any way but i have good faith in people i'm sure anna being a adult and a mentally stable one at that would just communicate with this random woman that gave her a compliment and say what exactly would she say to her like don't compliment me can you not say it like that can you get a handle on your language. I don't think the lady would like get it. Or what if she just confronted her? Like, did you say that because I'm fat? Yeah, I guess just be straight up like that. Would you say that to someone else? Or did you just say that to me because I'm fat? I don't know. I would just move on with my day <laughs> is what I would do. Hey, your compliment kind of hurt me in a in a you know in a weird way. I'm very insecure, and your comment made me feel I'm very less insecure. than a human. You know, maybe instead of less than a human, that's so over the top. Me in this way, you can say it all without saying it, just like this. Right? She probably assumes Anna wants the compliment slash attention, given how she acts. Right? I mean, we saw her in the Target. That was extremely attention-seeking. She's always attention-seeking, no matter where she is. And, you know, she like Michelle said, she's not somebody that you see every day. So people are going to pay attention to her. Let's see what she does. And I'm like, do I know you? And she goes, I, I don't think so. And I was like, well, you're acting like someone who knows me. And if you knew me, you'd know that I'm on this show all the time. So it's really not that exciting. So now you know. And then I just took off running. 
Was she like nasty about it? <laughs> Damn it, Anna. I don't know. Let's watch it like one more time. The clip from Anna. Dang it, just like this. Let's see what she does. And I'm like, yeah, she could just give a smile. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anna's not a girl's girl. Do I know you? And she goes, I, I, I don't think so. And I was like, well, you're acting like someone who knows me. And if you knew me, you'd know that I'm on this show all the time. So it's really not that exciting. So now you know. And then I just took off running. <laughs> damn it, Anna. This is going to take so much damn time editing. I can't. <laughs> Do you know me? Girl, does she have to know you? Maybe she was just happy for you. Okay, there's more. Oh, there's, there's more, that guys. Who was working hard the other day. I am trying to make new friends, and I just moved here. She seems so nice. I love her bright colors. I'm gonna go say hi. Do I know you? No, I was just... Well, you're acting like someone who knows me, and if you knew me, you know that I'm on this trail all the time, and if you followed me, then you would know I have one million followers, and I'm a fitness queen, so next time you see me, leave your bullying to yourself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess if I ever see Anna, I probably should just not say anything at all. I think that's it for the saga of the woman. Or is there more? Maybe there is more. Let's see what this clip is. A face. <laughs> and then ran away. So then she got back on TikTok. Oh, there's even more. I woke more. up to a couple people really disappointed to how I talked to the lady on the trail yesterday. And I realized not everybody watches my stories every day. And I think people missed last week's story. What was her reaction to... Um, the pushback that she received on the Target video. <laughs> she honestly should have just kept it up. I mean, people wanted to see it. If you're in a little drama, just keep it up, right? What do you guys think? Keep it up or take it down because other people are going to see it. Like, it's the Streisand effect. And that was one of my best performing videos ever. It was in like the top five, I think. Let me do a poll. Should she have kept up the Target video? Or deleted all the evidence? I say she might as well keep it up because everybody's going to see it anyway. At least make your coinage off the scandal. Right? I mean, I agree. I ain't doing all that. And um, I didn't even say anything to her initially. And I don't even know if I told this part of the story or not, but she just kept going. And she kept saying things that just implied that I was really out of shape. So another thing <laughs> I picked up from people who critique Anna is that she Oh my gosh. She is a liar. And it seems that she thought that the first video was an absolute banger. Everyone was going to agree with her. Everybody was going to feel bad for her. Everybody was going to be tickling her tits and saying, Anna, are you fitness queen? Yes, this. Oh, is it working? It was like frozen. It wasn't off. It wasn't off, guys. It was frozen. Yeah. So y'all can hear me now, right? Can you hear me now? Good. 
No, it wasn't muted. It wasn't muted. It was like frozen. I don't know what happened. Weird. Very weird. Okay, put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Please put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Yeah, it was on. It it was on. It was just frozen for some. That never happened to me. Now I'm like freaked out. Let's do a sound test. She's dumb. She is. Okay, that works. All right. <laughs> the mic was dehumanized. Okay. Side instead of this random lady that we don't even know. Because right now I'm on the Tinder headed trail walker side. I don't even know what she looks like. Now, after learning that, if you're go. still disappointed in me, I would kindly encourage you to unfollow me. Okay. I kindly encourage to encourage you to unfollow. Done. So, what did we learn today, kid? Let's review. Pay attention. There will be a quiz at the end of this, and no, it's not multiple choice. If you <laughs> see Anna on the trail and you want to compliment her, you first must fist bump her and tell her you love what she does on the internet, the dancing, the frolicking. But the absolute best way to empower glitter and lasers is in silence. Saying still as she runs by, and you can do this with a smile. <laughs> just don't say jack shit that's our lesson of the day just give her a smile and keep walking what do you guys think when you are what do you guys think when you are like walking in the grocery store and you exchange like eye contact with someone just like by accident and then they smile at you. It's like a moment. You had like a moment with someone. A stranger. <laughs> Usually I don't really think anything of it. Unless it's like a hot guy. Then I'm like, oh, okay. Hey there, boo. Was that something more? And it wasn't. But <laughs> Delulu is the Salulu, right? Who is she? She's funny. You don't know Michelle? Um, it's Michelle McDaniel. She's great. She has 800K subbies. She makes good videos. Fat acceptance. She's talked about the girls before. She's talked about a lot of stuff. Probably like the pink sauce. Stuff like that. Did she talk about the pink sauce? I think so. Fat, fat acceptance, um, the sister wives. She talks about like TLC, trashy reality shows, um, Martha Stewart, the thousand pound sisters, of course. Lizzo is a favorite of hers to talk about. She even talked about Taylor Swift. The Taylor Swift problem. No, there's no problems with Taylor. <laughs> Stop it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not like a creepy, weird Swifty. Like, I like her music, but I'm not going to like fight you. I don't really care that much about her personal life even. Although I do find her and Travis to be cute. Okay, should, she should, <clears throat> she should have kept up the Target video. 75 say yes, 25 say no. Thank you, Lauren, for the super. It's not okay to target a huge person with your encouragement. Like, it's not okay to ask a person in a wheelchair if they need your help. Belittling. To ask a person in a wheelchair if they need your help. I guess it depends on the situation, right? If they're obviously struggling. Then maybe you could offer your help. Thank you, Lauren. Tricky. Situations. But I don't think she should have been so upset about it. That's kind of crazy. The contacts be slipping. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Michelle used to be my thoughts will probably offend you. Yeah, I remember that. She doesn't go by that anymore. Does she? No. It's been a while since she went by that, huh? Who said she was targeted? Anna feels she was targeted. Yeah, for sure. You think Taylor's music is bland? No, I like Taylor's music. I don't think it's bland. She has like a story. That's why people like her. Like she's not the most talented singer, but she's a talent. She's a talented songwriter. And she has a story that people want to follow. That's her success. Okay. Do you want to watch more of this? Unlike no? some other benches that support heavier weights. That drama was good, though. That drama was good. What's going on? This bench actually can Is be folded drama in down the chat? and put away. In living in an apartment, I don't have a ton of extra space. I don't have a permanent home gym. So this bench worked perfect for me. I keep it in my corner. I keep it folded up. And when I need it, it's there and easy to put back together. So for me, it really was a winner. Now the other purchase that was frankly pretty much an investment. I'm not going to lie about it, but I have no regrets over an Eyes are so much better. Welcome. Yeah, they are so much better. <laughs> they're still a little bit red, but they're getting there. Absolutely love are these adjustable weights. These are Yeah, I don't even care if it's um fake drama. <laughs> Are from Nordic track and these are my babies, my children, my workout compadres. I love them. What oh yeah, do you mean Allie? Do you mean the parasocial between Swifties and Taylor? Yeah, it can get weird, but I know the boundaries, right? It's fun to read about her life and stuff, but I'm not gonna go like stalking her there was a stalker that like went to taylor swift's house or like go too far in that way go real life you know it's just like our girls like don't go real life you know enjoy the music enjoy the content make videos talk your shit but don't go real life And I don't think people should contact foodie. <clears throat> like, don't even comment. Don't even contact her. Like, if you contact her email, like, she posted an email where someone was, like, really disgusting. Saying, like, horrible things that I can't even repeat. And that just makes her a victim. Plus, it is harassment. If you're contacting her over and over again... Or if you're saying the things that this person was saying, like really, really, really awful, disgusting things. Then that is harassment and you give her a case to be a victim. So don't do that. Cat C, thank you for the super. I think it's okay to be like encouraging to people that are very overweight. It's better than looking at them like a freak. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, like, it's a freak show, right? No, that's not good. I don't know. I guess it just depends what you say. I'm trying to think of, like, certain examples of something that you could say that wouldn't, that wouldn't come across, like, oh, you're just saying that because I'm fat. But I don't know. Does it really matter? Would you guys be pissed if someone was, like, Oh, you're doing such a good job, but you're like 300 pounds and working out, walking on a trail. Would you guys be pissed if someone was like, you're doing such a good job and you thought it was just because you were fat? Oh, geez. Okay. 
Why are these so amazing? Let me fill you in. These weights are so amazing because they adjust from all the way up from 10 pounds to 55 pounds, which means any like weight I need in that range, I've got it. And they adjust quickly and easily. And if I'm switching weights within a workout, I have what I need when I need it. If you buy dumbbells individually, it can get really expensive. Actually, it's a bit patronizing. I'd be weirded out. No, I wouldn't be upset. So it seems like it's like a mixed opinion. Probably more expensive than the adjustable dumbbells. Additionally, they take up more space. They can be cumbersome. You need a storage area for them. Whereas these are. I feel like you can understand like that they're not coming from a negative place, even if it is a bit like patronizing because you're saying like, oh, good job for getting out there. And like, it's obvious it's because you're 300 pounds. But what could you say? What like, what could you say in to somebody maybe just nothing i know you <laughs> you're supposed to say i know you and i love your videos no but not everybody has videos maybe you could just say um good day or uh good morning you know <laughs> just say good morning nice to see you i don't know if, if you've seen them before just hide behind my couch and nobody knows they're there. Additionally, I really, really like them because they allow me to grow and progress. Mm -hmm. I purposely bought the 10 pounds to 55 pounds, knowing that I don't live 55 pounds now. What did he email Taylor Swift? No, I meant email Foodie Beauty. I hope I didn't like... I hope you guys got that. So somebody emailed Foodie Beauty something like really, really, really disgusting. And she posted it on her community tab. But I might in the future. So these are future proof for me. They're going to allow me to grow and become stronger and support me with that growth. What if you say like, oh, you'll lose it in no time. You'll lose it in no time with that attitude. Good job. I guess that's not. Who are you to assume I want to lose weight? Okay. I will say if you're not interested in building uh, that level of muscle, there is a cheaper variation that's available, which I believe goes five to 25 pounds and it is considerably less money. And that's that's really because they're not as heavy, <laughs> right? I don't think I'm going to watch any more of this. To be honest, it's not. It's not good. It's just an ad like most of her videos, but it's not that interesting either. I mean, some of the ads are like funny to watch, but this one isn't. Unfortunately, I thought maybe it could be funny, but nah. Unless you guys were really, really enjoying it. <laughs> no, I think that that was like enough. Enough. I've had enough. Show, show us the foodie thing. I like don't even want to show it because it's so bad. It'll like get me demonetized. Like that's how bad it is. Aren't all of her videos ads? Something like that. But some of them are like, some of them are funny or like interesting or good to react to, but this one's just not. Um, Miss Mel0810, thank you for the super. Everyone can't know how every other person in the world prefers to be addressed. Just ignore it and move on. That's honestly a good point. Like, you shouldn't take everything to heart like that. Just move on. That's like words to live by for sure. Thank you. Because other people, I mean, we asked people 
we asked people in the chat and like some people were okay with it and some people weren't. So it's obvious that it's just not that cut and dry. So I would say just don't take anything like that to heart or anything. Don't be like glitter and lasers because she was obviously really upset about it. Which is not. Not necessary. I think she deleted it, Foodie Beauty. So I'm looking for the email that someone sent her. And I'm pretty sure that Foodie Beauty deleted it. So it's not on there anymore. It isn't on there anymore, folks. So that is what it is. Are my eyes better? Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. You're so sleepy. Just don't interact with anyone ever. <laughs> Yeah, just don't speak because you don't know how anyone's going to react to anything. No. Is that why, like, they say nobody talks anymore? Nobody talks to each other anymore? People just don't want to offend someone by accident. But just, like, don't be an asshole, right? And you should be fine. Right? <laughs> just don't be an asshole. But apparently not because Glitter and Lasers, like, didn't like that either. But obviously, don't don't be like a creepy person like uh, that person that was talking to Amber in the Walmart because you don't know if someone's even into women. I mean, you're in a Walmart. Time and place. And you did it at my birthday dinner, right? Yeah. <laughs> And you did it at my birthday dinner. Do you want to do a pizza of my check-in real quick? Like as a joke? <laughs> like as a joke? Pizza cam, yeah. As a joke. I'm doing a video on Hungry Fat Chick tomorrow or, tu or Tuesday. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Where did he get to? <laughs> we actually did, like, this week, my goal was to upload every other day just to take it easy with my eyes. And we did it. But this week, I want to go back to our regular schedule, which is four videos, one live stream. Or three videos, two live streams. It just depends how I feel. And where the week takes us, right? Sometimes there's different, different drama calls for different video formats, right? Oh, wow. So Pete hasn't um, done a live stream talking for four days. He did a, well, he was still talking in the video game one, but that doesn't count. <laughs> if you get what I mean. It don't count. It really just doesn't even count. Back on my BS. I don't know why someone was like not happy with me on Twitter. Like because I posted. Let me talk to you guys about this. So I posted on Twitter. I swear to goodness, naming videos is the hardest part of doing YouTube. You wouldn't think it, but a title can make or break a video slash live stream. Some people even resort to AI to do it. So I've said that like multiple times before on the live streams that, you know, I struggle sometimes to come up with a name. Like it's just difficult for it to come to me. And someone was like, you're complaining about YouTube. Like, I, w I wasn't expecting that from you. And I'm just like, what, really? Like, it's not like a big deal. <laughs> I struggle coming up with titles. I don't know. It's not like it's the hardest thing in the world. And I didn't say that, but it's okay. Like, It's difficult. It can be hard to come up with a title. And you'd be surprised. 
I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. What do you guys think? Because, like, was that bad to say? I don't know. I didn't think it was, like, any big deal. Like, I was complaining about YouTube being hard. Not really. No, not that wasn't the direction I was going. YouTube is not hard. I mean, if you're like down in the dumps, it can be hard to find the motivation for anything, let alone getting on YouTube and like pretending that you're happy, you know? Or when you're, if you work at a cashier, you have to like pretend to be happy. You can't be like sad the whole day, you know? It's the same kind of thing. Cindy's boyfriend was creepy. They were triggered. <laughs> Rage, thank you for the super. Oh, we lost our voice. We always do around the three hour mark. In a world full of apples, your two bags of chips. Yes. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. <laughs> that is so sweet. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple. But that's, but that's okay. You think Twitter is scary? You're got you're glad you're le you <laughs> you're glad you left. I love Twitter though. I will never leave. I don't care if it's X or Twitter or whatever they call it too. Whatever they name it. Call it too. <laughs> whatever they change the name to. Yeah, it's getting late. <laughs> it's 12, right? Let's check on Pete's. Oople. So he posted this on what? Valentine's Day? Yep. So he spent his Valentine's Day on a live stream. Not out with a woman. You know, I don't... What did I even do on mine? Like scrolling, doom scrolling and playing video games. <laughs> Something like that. It was like Tuesday, right? It was Wednesday. Yeah. I didn't do that. I didn't do jack shit. Eileen, thank you for the super. Missed you. Thank you, Eileen. I missed everybody. I missed just being able to do like a normal live stream, no sunglasses, no nothing weird, nothing weird, like just our normal Sunday night live stream. And we did it. We did it. It's almost three hours. Like we really did it. And we got through a whole regular, regular thing, regular length live stream. I need to like slow down speaking. I keep saying the wrong words. I use the wrong words. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I've used the wrong word. Pete's looks like Natalie Nunn. Where are you getting that? How? In what way? We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. <laughs> What is with, is he going even more bald? Did he always have that spot? Look at that spot. Y'all see it, right? Where the comb over is? Or is that just her hair, his hairline? Because mine like goes back too. But I don't have like the comb over. My hairline has like always been that far back. Maybe it was like a little bit further. Maybe it went like a little bit further back, but I don't know. I don't see it. You can't tell because it's like a little teeny tiny bit every year. Damn, he got old. Yes. And say that shit with your chest. 
end. Peace. Say something. Do something. We're not here to entertain you. You're here to entertain us. So do something. That's a start. <laughs> Warm lighting. All right, let's just go to like 10 minutes. Thank you, Cam, for being a member for 15 months. OG. I used to accidentally call you Alex's gay <laughs> instead of Alex's shook. That don't even like correlate. 15 months. Yes. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> I'm gay for this day. I'm gay for the YouTube. I'm just gay for the internet, guys. When I get off the internet, like I go right into the Kyle voice and I have a wife and kids too. No, I don't. I just have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. She doesn't mind that I'm only 5'6 because she's only five foot. So it's okay. We're like both shorties. She's cute. She's cute. Um, so yeah, I do like that they got a Jewish actor. Because that is like it's it's core to the character. What oh, I ordered supper, Jordan. I ordered myself some Stuberts. So yeah, I ordered. What was that? to eat on camera today for all of you. You, 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 you. Oh, wait, he's eating on camera? Uh, it's even worse than Chantal. I mean, why is it at 480p, 720p? Why is it like those old VHS tapes where it's like a square instead of like widescreen? <laughs> His webcam is like an old VHS. You can change that if you use Streamlabs instead, brother. Well, he's spicy food for Canada. Yeah, this is naughty. It's not giving what it's supposed to give, Pete. How about some lighting? How about a camera? I tend not to enjoy spicy food. It's just, I am weak and cowardly. I am weak and baby. I am weak and baby-like. Get OF going. <laughs> Pete's, I think someone asked him. And next he would never. Kind of. He would never do an OF, but I also would never do an OF. Power top. Who's a power top? He's not swearing in the brown shirt. Oh, he's not wearing a brown shirt. Or swearing in the brown shirt. His chicken wings. Getting dark there. Dark there. Oh, what? Getting dark there. I don't even I don't even know if I wanna know what's dark. But <laughs> Maybe I'll write down the timestamp for later because I'm nosy. Fifty forty-five. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Should I turn the volume down and just listen to it myself and see? Just in case it's like bad. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Da 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 da. -da. Da -da. Okay, what did they say? I'm trying to figure out what was said. Um, hmm. I can't even figure it out. What? I literally can't figure it out. One of the chats must have been deleted.
what? Like gas. Cause they're talking about gas, like farting. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I guess we've seen enough. What do y'all think? I'm going to be miserable every single day. I'm going to be miserable every single day for the rest of my life. I am going to be miserable every single day. <laughs> Absolutely miserable. Absolutely miserable. <laughs> what are your guys' plans for the new week? Do you guys have off tomorrow? So it is President's Day tomorrow. Do you guys have off or no? I think it's kind of like if you have a government job, you have off, but most people don't. You don't even want to speculate. What is there to speculate about? He's working his job, living with the same old people, and that's it. It's still just one leather jacket hung up, and that's it. <laughs> Basically, nothing has changed. Does he miss Chantal, though? I would say he does miss her, regardless of all the things that he that she put him through. He does miss her, because that was his only friend, really. We don't hear him talking about any friends. We don't talk, hear him talking about hanging out with anybody but his mom. So now he has no one. I mean, that's kind of sad if you think about it. Chantal. I mean, what's that's sad too. Chantal was the only person in his life beside his, besides his family. The only person to share anything with. That is bleak. That's one of my favorite words. Bleak. That is bleak. I love the mug root beer. Or no, this is A&W. It's not even mug. I also got this Pennsylvania soda, but I'm not going to drink it right now. It's Kutztown grape soda. And it has a lot of sugar in it. So I will definitely take this one slow because otherwise I feel gross. When I drink soda, I feel gross. My grandma gave me that though because she knows I like grape soda. <laughs> I love grape soda, but I'm going to take that just one serving at a time. Otherwise, my mouth gets, like, gross. But the diet soda is fine. Because there's no, sh there's no uh, sugar in it. How much sugar is in it? Like, 100. 32 times 3. So, 96. About 100. <laughs> 96 milligrams of sugar. Almost a hundred milligrams of sugar. That's crazy. Yikes. My journey. I know. I'm still on my journey. I still count my calories. If you can fit it in, then it's for the win. You know? <laughs> I try not to be, like, too restrictive because I want to be realistic. And, you know, sometimes I'm eating with family and um, I'm not going to be, like, off to the side having a salad, you know? That's just not me. It's just not me to be off to the side eating a salad. I'd rather just eat it. <laughs> Did you watch American Horror Stories Tapeworm? No. I've never seen that or heard of it. Excuse me. I've never watched American Horror Stories. 
which is like the Hulu show. No, I never watched it at all. Can you guys tell me, is it any good? It's like a new story every episode, right? So you can just watch whatever episode you want. But do they have like celebrity cast or is it a bunch of unknowns? American Horror New Season Part 1 was so lame. You mean the one with Emma um, where she was pregnant and like she kept losing the baby and Kim Kardashian was her manager? I didn't like that. I only watched like episode one and two, maybe a little bit of three, and then I gave up. I don't give TV shows too much of my time. If I don't like it, if I'm not hooked by by episode three, I'm done. That's it for me. I quit. Or like, honestly, episode two. If I'm not hooked by midway through episode two of anything, I'm done. I just give it up. Life is so short. Like, you can't waste your time watching stuff you don't even really like, you know? Lisa Rinna, she was on American Horror Stories. Ooh. Part two is coming out for that, though. Is part two going to be the same story? Or are they going to do a different story? Like, um, wasn't Apocalypse like that? I loved Apocalypse. It wasn't Apocalypse. That was the same story, I think. But Apocalypse was so good. And it brought back the witches from season three. Love the witches. Number one season, season three. That's like the gays. Favorite season is season three. I mean, duh. <laughs> it's the queen. The queenie. Queeniest one. <laughs> Um, I also really like Billy Lord. Life is so short. My pappy ha her ha her pappy had a heart attack today. Life is so short. It is so short. I got some scratchers that I have to do. I always buy them and then I just let them sit there for days on end. Because <laughs> it's one of the crossword ones. So it's going to take me a while to do it. But I like doing them once I sit down and do them. But uh, I don't know. I literally just let them sit there for days on end. I don't know why. But at least that stops me from buying more. Because I know I have them. <laughs> AHS. Coven, yeah, Coven is the best, I think. Is Coven the best? Yeah. I would say, yeah, Coven is the best. It's my favorite, at least. But I haven't seen them all. I haven't seen the one where, like, Evan Peters is the main star, like, season five, I think. I think it's season five that I have not seen. But uh, I've seen a decent amount of them. I've tried a decent amount of them. That's like the only one I haven't tried at all. No, five is hotel. Five is hotel. I've seen, I've seen hotel. It was the one after hotel that I didn't see. Roanoke was bad. Yeah, I watched like two episodes of that and then dipped. Yeah, Hotel. I did see Hotel. I didn't see the one after Hotel. Or is Roanoke the one after Hotel? I don't know. The one after Roanoke. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The one that I'm talking about. Like the one with the like American flags or something. He was like Manson. Freak show. Yeah, I've seen Freak Show. All right. All right, you guys. What's the T on X? 
formerly known on Twitter. <laughs> There's all sorts of craziness over on Twitter, guys. Like, you're really missing out if you don't have a Twitter, a girl world Twitter. You should just make a secondary account because you don't want to use, like, your real name. I get it. I get it. I mean, I'm already here. I'm already here. I'm already in too deep. I'm already in too deep, so... But yeah, make like a phony Twitter account for Girl World. So worth it because there's so much drama over there. But it's not for the faint of heart. Girl World, Girl World, it's hard to say, Girl World. It's not, it's not for the faint of heart. Like you have to be ready. Be ready. Because it gets, it gets interesting for sure. It gets interesting. But you can always just, like, watch from afar. Don't comment on nothing. Don't uh, like anything except for my posts. <laughs> just kidding. Just like my posts. But my posts are pretty, like, unproblematic. They're not causing trouble. I don't usually cause any trouble. Usually. Is Kay Bella still on Twitter? Um, I don't know. She had like a different Twitter account and she was saying like some really weird things. Like it was odd the things that she was saying. Uh, you're bowing out. Good night, Annie. Your eyes are tired. Same girl, same. We're bowing out really soon. Your posts are mid. Oh, mild. Okay, thank you. I thought you said mid. I was like, ah, well, mid. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Start fighting with everybody? I just don't see, like, no, no. That's just not my tea. Like, some people, they love fighting with the other reaction channels, and that's, like, their tea. They love to, like, call out other reaction channels and like fight and have this beef and that's their bread and butter. Like that is their bread and butter. But for me, it's not. <laughs> I don't like it. It's too much for me. But I will watch and I will eat my popcorn and I will enjoy. You know, like some people make like their personal beefs, their content. And that's what they do. And that works for them. But that's not what works for me. <laughs> I'm going to do what's right for me. Like, I want to do what's best for me. But, like, I want to do what's best for me. But. But. Beyonce Texas Hold'em. Yes. Mid. Are you calling me Mid. That was my mid moment. <laughs> Trisha Bobisha, thank you for being a member for five months. OMG, tell everyone what happened with your ex name. OMG. Okay, so uh, this is like embarrassing, guys. <laughs> Trisha, no, it's okay. Um, so what happens? <laughs> What happened was Foodie Beauty called me Alex is a moron on one of her live streams as like a play on my name, I guess. Instead of Alex is shook, Alex is a moron. So I thought it would be funny to change my name on Twitter to Alex is a moron for a day. For a day. Well, I can't change it back. Because they're reviewing my profile. And I have to wait. It's been like four days now, I think. Where they won't let me change it because they're still reviewing my profile. So I'm stuck as Alex is a moron. <laughs> yep, it still won't let me do it. Your profile is under review. No new changes are allowed to name and profile photo 
during this review period. Oh, F off. I even tagged um, Elon, but he didn't reply. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> he don't give a shit. He didn't reply, but I tagged Elon. <laughs> I don't think he cares, but I don't think that he cares. I have a week until I can be foodies. What? Elon's impact. Alex is stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck with Alex is a moron as my name. Now I'm just going to like keep it because then they're going to have to review me again. Why do y'all do this? Like, Elon, Elon's the one that did this. Like, he's the one that um, made it like that. Honestly, the robots on Twitter are so bad now. They comment. Like, I made a tweet. And I got 10. 10 AI-generated robot comments. 10. And I'm like a small account. So imagine how many of these bigger accounts get. It's insane. It's horrible. It's annoying. And it happens on YouTube too. But it's not as bad on YouTube. On X, they run wild. It's a joke. It's a joke. Like, get it together, Elon. Get it together now. And it's so much buggier since Elon took over. <sighs> like, and I want him to make Twitter like a YouTube competitor where you can upload your videos and have like a real, like a watch list and like a subscriber thing. Right now you can upload your videos, but it's not a competitor at all. There's no like video search feature. There is, but like it sucks. It needs major overhaul. So do that. <laughs> and let smaller creators get monetized. If you do it. So get it together, Elon. We're not living. We're not living for it. I think it has to do with the bot. Yeah, there's so many bots. I hate it so much. It's so annoying. Were they nice robots? Yeah, the robots say like really weirdly nice things, but you can tell it's just like fake. Like they're not rude robots. <laughs> they deleted a bunch of bots from the follower list. Okay. Let me see how, my, how many followers I lost. If they deleted a bunch of bots. Alex is book. Versus Alex is shook. I didn't lose any. <laughs> I still have the same. Well, there you go, guys. I have real followers. No bots to be found. There's no point in buying fake followers. Some people say that Foodie buys fake subscribers. Do you guys think that Foodie Beauty buys fake subbies? I don't think so. It's so pointless. And like, if she was buying views, she would have more views. So I don't understand why she would buy f subscribers. Like, that just seems stupid. And it puts your channel at risk. So even though, like, oh, that's a funny conspiracy theory, I just really don't buy into it. You guys think she does? She got 800 subs in, like, three hours recently, but no new views. Oh, that's weird. I haven't checked her social blade. Somebody bought them. She said, oh, somebody bought them. Oh, weird. Maybe they're trying to get her in trouble. Or maybe she's using that as a scapegoat. I just find it be 
I just find it to be like the biggest waste of money. Like there's no point. There's absolutely no point. And it puts your channel in jeopardy. Like they will take you down for with a quickness for doing that. You are not foodie beauty. I'm on social blade. There's a fake foodie beauty. I guess I have to go to everyday Miriam, whoever that is. Miriam. Everyday Miriam. She deleted six million views. Look. Six million. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, look, she deleted 6 million. And then she gained 800 subscribers on 213. Now, now that you say that, I didn't see that before I said I don't think she buys them. I didn't see that. That's really, really weird. So she said somebody else bought them for her? That's really weird. And so she has plateaued at um, 98.9 for like forever now. <laughs> she would have been at 98.1 plateau for days and days and days and days since the beginning of February. She hasn't gained a single subscriber until 213. She got 800 in one day. That don't make any sense, right? That is weird. So someone did buy him, I guess, or she did. Did someone take her name? No, there was like a, there was another like woman named Foodie Beauty. That had a hundred subbies. I've got my water. Rise up, game of boys. Get your game of gale. Bath Walter. So delicious. <laughs> My skin is clear. My makeup is flawless. Ever since drinking game of gale, bath water. <laughs> it's so good. Somebody pipe. Somebody buy Pete's some robot friends. Oh my gosh. Which is weird because why didn't she make a new account with her old name? On where? What's Glitter's social blade? Glitter's subscribers do not match her views at all. But what I think happened is... She got all of her subbies from shorts. And so that's why they don't add up. But I don't know. And she's had a channel for a long time. So a lot of those subscribers are just like dead. Well, not like actually dead, but you get what I mean. <laughs> not actually dead. Oh my gosh. No Stanley. I know my Stanley's on the counter. I was like rushing to get onto this live stream. So I didn't have time to fill my Stanley, but I was going to. I ran out today of Walter. But Stan's the man. Wow, so she gained 10K. Very nice. What is she earning them from? Is she earning them from her shorts? She gets so many views, but it's the shorts. It's not the videos. She literally gets a million views a day, glitter and lasers. That's crazy. That's crazy. I didn't know she got that many shorts views. Wow. She famous. She's famous, y'all. Stan's the man. <laughs> you ran out of Walter. 
No, I have Volta. You're in your Owala era. Is that good or is that just like corny? <laughs> I heard that might be better, but I don't know. It doesn't like drip. But I like it when it drip, 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 drip. No. <laughs> That's the worst part of the Stanley. It drips when you tilt it over, but it just looks so cute. It just looks so cute. I can't. I can't. Yeah, maybe it is TikTok people coming over. What's her TikTok? Let me subscribe to her TikTok right now before I forget. It's just glitter and lasers, I'm sure. Glitter and lasers. <sighs> glitter Forever 17 came up. Y'all remember her? 8.4 milli on the TikTok. Wow. So this is where the drama's at on the TikTok. Because she don't post. Like, if it gets pushed back, she won't post it on YouTube Shorts because that's secondary for her. That's secondary for her. That makes sense. Yeah, Awala is another water bottle. Or should I say, Wolta Bottle. <laughs> the Nalgene, that's a classic. People use that in high school when I was in high school. All right, guys. I'm going to call it a night. It's 12.38. So it's almost, it's getting up to almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Let's go ahead and put a pause on it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on tonight's live stream. I will catch you guys very soon with a video. If not on Monday, then I will definitely see you on Tuesday. Um, again, thank you for coming out and I will catch you guys in the next one. Happy President's Day. <laughs> Enjoy your week. I hope it's a happy and easy one for you. And I'll see you next Sunday. Or, or we might do a midweek. Or we might do a midweek stream. I need to get off.